This is really embarrassing, but five minutes ago, I had just played both those songs and had come to launch into my intro uh, into XCOM, and I had realized that the stream had never gone live, and I thought I had clicked it, uh, but I had just been sitting there offline listening to the music and then doing like 10 seconds of an intro until I realized that no one was talking and that was kind of weird. Um, and then I looked and I saw I was still offline. So that wasn't great. So I'm five minutes late because of that. <laughs> five minutes, 30 late. Later than I would have been, which is already like half an hour late. How you doing? It's like the beagling hour. Like, 40 minutes to go to 20 minutes from now is like the beagling hour when the stream should start. Big brain beagle, you know it. What's up? More XCOM today. You would have been very proud of me, Jeff, because I was talking about how I was about to swear at the start of the vault, but didn't. Uh, because I'm a very good person. No one ever heard that, of course. I'm just making this up now. Um, it would be funnier if you started XCOM with nobody watching. I think that would be actually be a nightmare. I would be very frightened. We made a lot of money uh, last yesterday as I was telling the ghosts, the nobodies, five minutes ago. Uh, both out of game and in game. 735 credits because we just finished the month. And also we just beat two missions. Pretty good yesterday, honestly. Pretty good pair of missions. Um, I made some adjustments to the menu for today, added some things that I was meant to add yesterday but forgot of adding more leaders. I've been saying that like as the months tick on now I want to upgrade the old groups, especially the ones people on order. But in general just upgrade the old groups to have leaders in them. Um, so let me take you to the new menu just to show you what's going on. Uh, you'll see here some new things that I should have had in yesterday but I have them in now. Please accept my apologies. Uh, I upgraded Weezo Stupids and uh, Problems Legal with... Uh, a level 4 floater for uh, Stupid Birds, which has Covering Fire, Danger Zone, Sprinter, and CCS. And of course they have more stats, they have more HP and aim and, and, and mobility and shit. And then Problems Legal, which is a level 4 Thin Man, which comes with Executioner, Sharpshooter, Bombardier, Bombard, and Squad Sight, which some might find interesting. Uh, and finally I actually added a new, completely new one in the middle here, like it was always there. I added Bisque Risk, which is 3 level 2 Chrysalids, which all come with Lightning Reflexes. And two floaters. Because I've been saying for ages I'm going to add a lighting reflexes option. I never did, so... <coughs> there you go. <coughs> Excuse me, it's all added. Wizo is the pr pronunciation of, of... Weezo. Yeah, okay, I'll pronounce Weezo Wizo from now on. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know how to pronounce Weezo. Appreciate it. Alright. Uh... You're researching. I can't think about French right now because I need to spend my money. Muton is researching. It's time to buy stuff. So I think I need to replace a carapace armor. Um, and some gauss would be nice. I could use another gauss rifle. That's right, Bunny. Wow, it's so stupid. That's right. Uh, GMG would be nice, but I'm not sure I can afford it right now with my limited number of alloys in Illyrium. But it is so good. It's such a good gun. I kind of need it. There'll always be more alloys. There's always more Seekers. Don't I have the workshop now? Yeah, I do. So it's not so bad, too. Um, I could use another scope so I can do the foundry thing. And you have a respirator as well. I don't need another one because I've usually got at least two soldiers, Rocketeer and Engineer, who don't use them. So actually I don't need another one. That's fine. Uh, what else do I need while I'm here? Anything? Not a Gauss or a pistol. It would be nice to have a second laser shotgun, but it's not really a priority right now for me. Especially with my limited assets. This is probably the way to go. Airgram upgrades. Airgram upgrades is the main thing I want, yeah. It sounds like it's not really worth building these till I have Phoenix Coil Guns, which I can't afford yet anyway. I still have two satellites waiting in the wings, so that's nice. If you can get Hollow Targeting on the Shiv, I can't get it on most people, so that'd be nice actually. Definitely bring that. Honestly, shiv, shiv stocks go up in this game, even though it was a normal shiv, just because you can bring guaranteed hollow, flush, and heat, and suppression of the foundry in the same unit. Pretty useful, actually. Maybe we should just build a bunch of, like, normal shivs. 
but their basic HP is just really low. Um, how many soldiers do I have? We've gone under 67. I really need to order more. Maybe now is actually the right time to do it. No, the right time. The, it's the right time to do more officer training. Actually, if I if I'm going to spend a splurge, train up the ones I have. You get shiv slot mod. No, I'm not going to do that till um, next campaign if I do it. I think if there was like a foundry project where there was like some way to like upgrade basic shivs to have like a bit better staying power, a bit better HP or a little bit of DR or something in the mid game, it would be cool if you could like still use them, you know what I mean? Like alloy shivs are so damn expensive, but if there was a way to like, you know, foundry upgrade basic shivs, I would probably still use them for that reason. Especially if I get that shiv slot mod, you would want to bring something. Hmm. Probably gonna go to the foundry next, speaking of. I don't think this is a satellite month, considering I don't have enough alloys, though. Interestingly, I, but I don't, I can't anyway. I'd love to keep expanding, because that's the whole point of, like, snowballing the air game. But I'm not snowballing the air game. I have to just get my interceptors back right now. Which reminds me, that's what I actually have to buy, is more interceptors. That's what I actually need. Give the alloy shiv, like, six smoke to rage or something. That'd be cool if you could put, like, smoke dispensers on the shiv. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Doxin says Phoenix Core Guns are skippable. You can go right to Supercapacitor Laser Cannons. The thing is, I don't have Laser Cannons right now, Doxin, because I lost them all in the base defense loss. That's the problem. That's why I'm considering going Phoenix Coil Guns, because Phoenix Guns are much, much cheaper. So that's why. Does training stuff help with panic? It sure does. It sure does. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Hmm. Alright, I just gotta hire two more interceptors, I think. I gotta defend Europe. Wait, go to Foundry. Foundry first. Can't get this done yet, need never meld. So next mission I should be able to do that. Keep the Thin Man Corpses for sure. Can't get that ever. Get this. That's seven alloys I could spend on anything else right now. But sometimes pistol is the clutch. Shit suppression is good, cheap. Very cheap. Uh, this is good, but I'd rather have the interceptors right now. I don't have the money for everything. I can't sell Illyrium anymore because it's all gone. I can get avionics. Boom, that's big. That's very big. Get that. Absolutely. Oh, but you just need interceptors in general too, Beagle. I'll have to sell some shit. I'll have to just sell some stuff. Can't get this till I get more Illyrium back. I need another Illyrium for this. I need more flight computers too, it turns out. But I need to get UFO kind measures as well. It would be nice to get these two, but I don't think I can afford it. I'll send word to the foundry what can I now. sell? Anything? You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. Sell some floater corpses. Sell a thin man corpse. Don't sell mutant corpses right now. Definitely sell lid carcasses. Yep, that's good. Definitely sell those. Maybe get away with selling a power source, I think. That's probably that. And then we'll get two more interceptors for now. I only have two mectoid cores. I must have Keep sold them already. Out of engineering for a while. They're testing some potentially dangerous new equipment down there. Do I need power supplies for Illyrium? No. So maybe sell another one and get another interceptor. Sell a little bit more shit so we can get three interceptors. A little more, a little more. Sell a little more stuff. A little more stuff. A little more stuff. Just a little more stuff. How many is it for Thin Mins? It's ten corpses. Okay, and order one, two, three interceptors. Okay, that's all the money gone. That's all the money. Now, I think we carry on. 
Forwards. Oh, you can get ammo con now. How much I wish I could actually get that now, indeed. Fortunately, having sold all this stuff, now I can't research all this cool things. It'd be nice to get advanced gauss. But... Can I get 20 alloys? What would I have to cancel to get 20 alloys? Nothing I want to cancel right now, so I'll probably just do Berserker Autopsy. Which sucks, but it is what it is. The men are calling this beast the Berserker, although it shares the same structure as the Muton. For reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. Remember, doing autopsies lets you get more resources from dead aliens. No, it doesn't. That's a joke. It's a lie. It doesn't do that. It does not do that. Maybe you get a VPT soldier one day? I actually had Ariok for that. Funnily enough. Wait, we're researching, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. But I'm never getting ammo con, right? Yeah, it's 60 alloys. It's just an alloy shiv. It's 60 alloys and 50 meld. This is not happening anytime soon, so you're probably fine to get rid of some Muton corpses. That's not a big worry. What about the sectoid corpses? I guess I could do that too, right? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Yeah, no worries. Kono says, this virtual streamer have the best looking of Twitch. Thank you! Feeling cute. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna land? You gonna land, buddy? Yo, I still have laser cannons over here. That's so awesome. Oh, we're gonna get the full-on, the full-on uh, cutscene today. Remember, things are fucked up for the air game in Europe, but at least they're good in Asia still. That looks like it's gonna land, might be a trap mission. But we need to take every mission we can get. Enemy is padlocked. I bought off that. We lost the bubble. Cause that should be a landing. Contact detected. But just keep keep observing it. Yeah, there you go. Contact lost. Contact detected. Landed raider, this will be uh, something. And <laughs> it's Trash Hill where all the best Landed Raider wipes happen. We love Trash Hill. We love casting spells. This uh, this map has been treacherous for us in recent memory. Trap Hill, yeah. <laughs> Ethereal Trap Hill, the new name. Banny says Wokemobile might be good to provide additional cover. Yeah, you might be right. Because the LZs do tend to have a lack of it. All right, so time to equip. We have 14 hours. Anyone close to that before we start? Nope. So who goes on this one? Captain Fucked? Probably not. Though Bombard Grenades with Backmaster and Flush with a Sniper in a pinch isn't a terrible option for this map, but it's not. It's not really great. Oh, Halla fucking Lulia. Round of applause, please. Thank goodness, we're going to survive. We're all going to make it. We're going to live, folks, because the collateral damage gunner is here. Oh, don't worry. thought we were going to wipe another one. Oh, don't worry, everyone. Everything's fine. Regardless, we'll carry us to victory. With a, with a collateral damage gunner, there's no way we can lose. Thank goodness. Hang on, I just got a tad to bring my chat down. On see your targets. What if it's a trap of fucking elites though? Well, we'll see. Um, UFO. 
What is it? It's 25, I said last time for a landed raider, didn't I? Uh, has that changed at all? UFO landing site, basing UFO type. Let me just double check because it's September. You never know. Things may change. Raider is, I think, still... Yeah, I think it's still like 25 we settled on. <laughs> 16 to 20 for a landing. No, it's 20. Sorry, I almost got gaslit by what happened with the, the orders last time. It's 20 max... But I made it 25 because Mongo came in swinging with the sectoid school bus order afterwards and I wanted to get them all in with the mechdoid order as well. It's actually only 20. It's only 20. Plus four aliens at alien research over 360, but that would mean ethereals are here, so we're not there yet. Okay. So it's only 20 aliens. And I think I could have taken 20 aliens last time, so... <laughs> Only 20. Alright, people, give your order some thought. If you all had solidarity, you could make, like, a union for this. You could actually, like, work out with each other. Okay, who's gonna order what? So you don't step on each other's toes. You could start during my deployment phase. You could have your own deployment phase. You'd be like, guys, what are we gonna bring? And you could all agree, like, I'll go. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. What do you do if someone fucks it up, though? You kick him out of the union. 19 sectoids, one commander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely bring a sniper in case the commander is ordered. You you can try and mass sector me again, but I think I've learned. Don't tell them there's nowhere there's no panic rooms on this map. Don't tell them. Don't tell them there's nowhere to hide from the open country sector fight on this map. Six Le Boss. Ordering Le Boss is like having a, a black credit card. It's just like you're in the Platinum XCOM Kitchen Club. Le Boss. You're very important if you order Le Boss. Hmm. Mayhem, Lock and Load, Double Tap. It's a good combination of everything. What else is there? Keep looking. You're the Overwatch Rocketeer because your nickname is Vigilo. Oh yeah! Ah, it's only Heat Words, but still. Also, I realized um, why I make changes and I'm like, oh, it didn't change, what the heck? I'm kind of stupid, but I realize now we're playing of hidden trees on, but the tree is still rolled the instant the soldier takes their first perk, that takes their class. So no changes I make will have any impact on any soldier that is not brand new. So I have to manually do things like um, perk groupings and stats because it's all rolled already, we just can't see it. So in this case, because I already, in this case, because I've already comboed heat warheads with heat ammo, do you just combo of heat ammo naturally here? Because otherwise it won't change. Or, yeah, or do I just fire everyone and hire 100 new soldiers? Yeah, I probably just combo it manually at this point. Because I took normal warheads out and it only appears now comboed of ammo, so I'll just combo it myself, I guess. The <laughs> The graciousness that Benjamin Bugskipper was not afforded. Could you respect him? Would that fix it? Uh, yeah, but it fuck up all the rest of their tree as well. So everyone would get, like, brand new perks, which would be wacky. I can just ma manually combo it, it's fine. Is there anything else I would- <laughs> Bugskipper says, I would have been a god! <laughs> Is there anything else I would take here? <laughs> Bugskipper! Bugskipper, we'll see you again in another raffle. I can just tell that you're not done. Your story isn't done. We're going to see a Bug Skipper 2 at some point, I can tell. Flush. We're going to see like a Bug Skipper in Rose Sigma who like somehow lives. A Commissar Bug Skipper is in the future, I think. I don't think there's any universe in which I would take Flush or Battle Scanner, so we'll just take this and combo it. So that's, that's a pretty good soldier, I think. Lock and Load plus Heat Ammo plus... Plus opportunities covering fire, plus everything. That's that's a pretty damn good soldier. So you can have give perk heat ammo. That's a little treat, and we're gonna nickname you because my my nicknames are so good at remembering what they are. Vigilo was so like graceful and like understated, and now it's like hot Vigilo. What the hell does that mean? It means they've got heat. That's what it means. 
Bring back Commissar Jeffick. Commissar Jeffick still lives. We just gotta play that campaign again. Next time I play your Sigma, don't let me start a new one. I gotta continue the one I had. Yeah, I guess we'll also take you with the Mayhem and the Lock and Load and the Double Tap, I think. Alright. Eh, I mean, Adrenal though. Like, you can pretty much guarantee an Adrenal proc with a rocket, right? An extra shot every two turns for a Rocketeer, or... Plus 10 aim and crit for everyone that lasts for like three turns, I think. Every five turns. Banny says, watch Bugskipper become the chosen sniper next time you do OVA and you have to give them back all the perks they had from this campaign. Yeah, I was actually thinking of that, Banny. I was thinking they'll probably show up as like a uh, XCOM 2 OVA if we do something as an alien. I think Marilyn says, think about the menu for Rose Sigma. I would actually kind of like to do a menu for Rose Sigma, but I feel like the value would be way off. Like, I, I think it's a fun idea, but if you actually did it, it would just be like, you would order like a, like what, like a $1 cultist, and they would, I would kill like 20 of them in one turn of the Chimera turrets. I feel like it just wouldn't work. Yeah, it had to be like, the scale had to be insane. You'd have to order like 20 Nurglings for five bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be like huge package deals. <laughs> Phillips says, require engine edit. It's not my skill set. Yeah, well, too bad. Too bad. Yeah, and everything's already activated in Rose Sigma, so you get less value out of it, too. It's a cute idea, though. I do like it. I think I think if we ever do this gimmick in another XCOM, likely, I think we all know, OVA XCOM, OVA XCOM 2 Kitchen is where we'd be going next. With, like, all the mod aliens on. Should do Rose Sigma's silence, just make them Helldivers? That's a cute idea. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think there's... I feel like this is, like, a, a bait. Do you think there's any way that this isn't just a fun idea? Do you think Adrenal is worth it? Because honestly, Double Tap plus Lock and Load is pretty good. This soldier is always going to be shooting. That's valuable in itself. Beagle Adrenal doesn't proc on rockets. Oh, it doesn't? Thank you. That really makes it simple then. That makes it very simple. Thank you for saving me, caddies. You are my favorite chatter today. Bring Boom and Regalis. Absolutely bring them. Uh, who else? I want to say concealment again, but maybe not. I just need killers. This map is very open, and as much as I'd like to play lost games, what's going to make this one tough is that you can't really play lost games. You have to just have, like, a really strong line of killers. So, again, like, just a pure tank here doesn't really cut it. I'll probably do a little bit of it for next campaign if I play another one, Larky, which is likely. So just bring your best killers on this up. Hollow Platform Stab is also not bad. That's a pretty good soldier, especially if I want to kill Sectoids, especially if I can get Hide Advantage going. If I could get you on top of a hill, like Trash Hill, or like, there's a lot of elevation on this map, it could actually be kind of good. I actually kind of want to bring Gatharz in on this one. I think Gatharz actually has a place on this op. Not you yet, Matutina. Who else? Definitely bring Medic. Doc Knockham hit and run Medic. Muscle Fiber could be good on certain pieces of terrain. Depends where you are. Hit and run's always valid, always, always relevant. Body Shield would be good for staying alive in the hell that's to come. Same with Dr. Sensual's Tax Sense. But you're not really a killer. But you can bring Smoke, which is valuable. I will need Smoke, too. Banny says, Depth Perception seems bad now that low profile combined of DGG. It might need some love to combine with something else. Yeah. It does give you five aim. It's kind of like a stat stick perk. But true. Does DGG give you plus 10 for being high? Yeah, it's got like a big stat stick on it, Bounty, I guess, is the thing about it. So it's still kind of good for what it is. I mean, hell, I I chose it over low profile here, which is crazy. Just because I wanted the stats, I guess. I think if I had this again, I'd probably take one of these two instead. So 
Sparkly Smoke is good to take you to defend against Sectoids. You know what? That's true. That's true, and it's something I don't consider enough. Combat Drugs is not just for crit, it's actually plus will. I don't think that works for defending against Rift, but it should work against Sectoid attacks, right? That's true. I should try to bring Drug Smoke. I might even exhaust if she's available. I think I already exhausted her. Yeah, I did. I was going to bring Cookie. She's exhausted. Damn. Um, who else? I kind of want to bring Wokound, I think. We'll see if I want to fit anyone else, but I kind of want to bring Wokound. It should reduce the damage of Rift. I don't think it did, though. If I remember correctly. I feel like it didn't. I still need big shooters here. I still need big killers. Is anyone here a big damn killer? Or am I going to have to exhaust some people again? Ooh! This engineer rolled fire rockets! Now I'm talking. Sprinter and Resilience are really good, but the ability to, like, bring an extra rocket on a soldier who isn't a rocketeer, I think, is too... Too good. Just way too good. The... the it, the, it's like the F-35, right? Having, like, multi-roll in a soldier is just really valuable with the amount of enemies that can be fl flung at us. Hmm, you could also bring some smoke. You could bring, like, a bit of HE, a bit of smoke, and a fire rocket. You could bring a bit of everything. You're not going to excel at any one of those things, though. Hmm... Janus says, I thought the F-35 was a colossal waste of money. I've played Broken Arrow and I can now say with confidence the F-35 is based and slaps. Gotta let you know. I need to have a reviver. This isn't great. If you pick the rocket, remember to set a custom loadout with a launcher to it? Yes, thank you. You're correct, thank you. Not you yet. You could bring a bunch of smokes. Hmm. Packmaster, battle scanner, and what? Instead of smokes, it would be smarter to bring grenadier and then bring like a whole bunch of grenades. So you'd be like kind of like an engineer, but not, right? You would be like an engineer, but not. I do need a scout in general. I could not bring you. I can drop Hamaketu and bring PG instead on this mission. And you got Lightning Reflexes, Packmaster, Battle Scanners, and then even more nades. Which means you never get a respirator, PG! I hope you enjoy living on the edge. Hmm. I think you're going to enjoy living on the edge. I think you're going to love this. Boom. Boom. Rocketeer, Rocketeer, Gunner, Scout. Again, multi-roll. Multi-roll is good. Doc Knock'em. I still need to fill that role of, like, big damage killer. Is anyone not exhausted? Brit. I might need to bring Brit. I don't think we have any reaction this way either, which is something else I need to fill on this team. At least someone should be a good reactor. Uh, you have covering fire, but no sentinel. Not ideal. Probably exhaust one really good soldier anyway, considering how hard this mission is likely to be. I think AQL is a queen, but she doesn't have the damage to be, like, the big damager. I think it's gotta be Brit, but Brit's so... But I think the lower your fatigue, the less you get exhausted, I was taught. So it's not so bad to exhaust someone who's lower anyway. Why do you name PG Tips Obama? Because they have scanners, so I nicknamed them after, like, the Drone Warfare King. The... the goat of drones. Hydro Cow has the heat. It's just like a lot of Rocketeers right now over here. Hmm. 
Peach says, now I have normal nades, so it really is drone warfare. Yeah, if you can get the grenades to, like, get dropped by the scanner drones, we're, we're in the money. I think it's gotta be Brit. I just don't love the lack of overwatch I have in this squad. Hmm. Probably alright, though. Overwatch was not super great last time. Just having one shooter with it is probably fine. No choice ammo? Yeah. I think my soldiers in general here are good. I have a lock and load opportunist. It's only one shot, but it's still a shot to pick off sectors if they run at me. For everything else, there's MasterCard, right? For everything else, there's Brett. A lack of CCS does make us a little weak to uh, Berserkers and potential lid rush. But also, if you go too hard on Overwatch right now, at the detriment to other things, there is, like, lids with lightning on the menu as well, so we gotta we gotta be here for everything. We gotta be ready for everything here. Okay, Gauss, Gauss. Who, who else needs Gauss? If I leave you with the strike rifle, you can strike rifle at long range grenade at close, which keeps you useful in all in all aspects. I still didn't bring any smoke though. That's my issue. I, I still haven't got any smoke, but I haven't really got anyone with smoke that's good. So what are you going to do? Catharsin definitely needs that. Gauss. Take the one of you who is a worse shooter. Oh man, you're both good shooters. Damn. Alright, you then have to bring the carbine. So we need the, so we need an extra Gauss rifle. You bring that one. Janus has got a bad feeling about no smoke. Me too. I might bring someone PG. I think like someone needs to bring some smoke. Nice thing about having a pack master there. You can bring a bit of both. Do you check to see if the ship could bring smoke? <laughs> no, it can't. That'd be so awesome, but no, it can't. I would love it if you if you could bring smoke on the ship, but you can't. We just have a real lack of medics on this one. I I, I might have to go back to the drawing board on at least one or two of you. No, sorry, Brit has savior. It's kind of okay because Brit has savior. So it's workable. However, um, Doc Knockham really needs to be, like, be careful and not get down because Doc Knockham has only been on one mission. Um, he's the only one to revive. Banny says, would love a ship that's just filled with smoke, no gun. You're just like a little ammo mule? Yeah. Imagine a ship that, like, has no gun, but if you go back to it, you get your consumable charges back. Oh! your deal? We'll survive holo targeting heat. What do I want to put on you? Go for the heat, but you're going to be collateral a lot as well. Give the Shiva Mark 19. I mean, that would also be pretty useful, yeah. Unfortunately, for balance's sake, we figured out grenade launchers in XCOM 2, and the aliens never recovered. That'd be a cool perk item where a shift takes damage and then smoke surrounding it. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd be an amazing item to bring. Smoke dispenser. That'd be so freaking cool. That'd be an item I'd bring on mechs and, and shivs a lot, honestly, even if it, whether it was automatic or whether you chose to pop the smokes. That'd be awesome. Smoke ERA. There's a perk for that. I think it's an XCOM 2 actually. There's a perk for that where the armor of the mechanized unit is divided into chunks and you can only take like so much damage each hit. Uh, it's like layered armor or something. It, it's something for mechs, I think. Sparks in XCOM 2. That's vanilla absorption fields, isn't it? Oh, is it? Maybe. Oh, really? That's cool, Zasko. What do you mean? Maybe a scope on you. One gunner is not a lot of gunner. I don't love the composition of this squad, but I also don't think I have a lot of other good options. You get the ability to reload another soldier's gun for them. That's nice. We have some smokes. We have Doc Knockham here as well. Doc Knockham till you try him. 
We have Brit here to kill. I think the real question is, would you drop Gatharz in for anyone else? Is there anyone in the exhaust bay that could make this mission... Turn this mission from a potential loss of eight soldiers into a win with two exhausted? Like, maybe instead of Gatharz in, you bring AQL. Because then you can put the Gauss Rifle on the Medic as well, in case they want it. Or on the other Rocketeer, who has double tap. And then you're bringing AQL instead, which might be more valuable. She also has combat drugs, don't forget, which is notable here. I, she should be fixed now. She should be able to pop them and Overwatch in the same turn. So I think maybe you need to, like, not bring Gatharz in here. Because Gatharz just doesn't bring enough. And I don't want to exhaust everyone all the time. But, like, it could be the difference between, like... Like, do you really want to, like, n wipe a, a fucking mission like this and lose all the resources in the soldiers just because you didn't want to exhaust a second person? No, you don't want that. Other choices could be... Nah, I think the Rocketeers are going to be fine for this, honestly. Yeah, I think AQL is the one to bring for this. So bring AQL. Oh, now we have to go down on strike rifles, I think. Which means PG. You need to bring something else. You need to bring the scatter laser. So you're not long range anymore, buddy. But we didn't have a shotgun either, so good to catch that before I pressed start. Respirator, absolutely, for my queen. Um, you can kind of even argue if AQL she doesn't need a scope and it'd be better to bring more drugs. I, I actually am very prone to arguing that here, I think. Especially because her shots hitting aren't really life or death anymore. As, as much. Like, having a 10% margin for error of she could miss is less good when it's like her shots were killing everything that moved. Now that like her shit can be nullified by either lightning lids or just drones or just big beefy like berserkers and stuff a lot more, it's like less the end of the world in that case and more impactful probably that she has like a 95% to hit and four smokes with drugs rather than 110% to hit or 100% to hit but you know two drugs. Yeah, it, it makes her only have 150 names instead of 125, that's right, or whatever. It's more valuable here, especially because she has Deadeye already against flying units. It's more valuable here, I think, just to bring the smoke. That's right, Obsidian. They're an engineer. They're an engineer of LRs, PG. Alright, she's got scanners, so we're gonna have a lot of scanners this mission, which is interesting. If PG wasn't doing double duty on so many things, I'd replace them with someone else too. Like Niaro. Show me Niaro again. What does Niaro bring? Niaro brings dense smoke, actually, if you bring her. Niaro straight up brings dense smoke. You could bring three dense smokes, but then you have an engineer. That's that's the value of PG, is he's multi-rolling. He's multi-rolling really hard. And we we need the engineer grenades. He, he's a, he is the F-35 of scouts. He is really multi-rolled right now. Alright, I think this is actually like the good combo. Contact Just the last thing to check is, can I get... No, I cannot get a captain ship for bread. Okay. Detected. I don't have the money for it. I'd love to have the money. Uh, also, last, last thing to check is make sure you pass that carbine around. Uh, double tap for you. Or Carbine for the Medic. Probably... Gauss for you. And Rifle or Carbine for the Medic so that you can, like, um, reposition better. Probably just leave the Laser Rifle on you. Alright. Boom. There, would you want to run a carbine? It's just plus on mobility and a little bit more aim. I think it's better to have the, the rifle for the damage. Okay. Three med kits. Two standards. Quite low on med kits this mission. I do have a lot of smoke for once. Alright. 
Let's give it a crack. This is going to go well, I can tell. Prepare for deployment, strike one. On Operation Buddy We're heading into China for the next operation. <laughs> We tracked the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside of a small town. <laughs> we should move to secure the site and clear out any hostiles we can find. <laughs> it's just a name. What's in the name? Yeah, the up naming guy should be fine. We need like a Helldivers Operation naming guy. We need some patriotic, democratic names. Operation Huge Victory! I didn't bring a motion tracker? No, you got it. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Alright. Uh, it's time, you sickos. Wait, hang on. 20 aliens to be bought. Please buy responsibly. Okay. One Lecube, one Lecube, from super trattino basso trista nine aliens, zero zero you got eleven more you can Wider buy. One cube, please. Only eleven. It's for the commander sitting at the bar. Oh, thank you. Very, very cute. So we have one sector commander and eight sectoids already ordered. Thank you. That's nine out of twenty. You have eleven more you're allowed to order. I'm just going to wait because I know the other order. I know someone is like begging to order another eleven sectoids right now. So I'm just going to give you twenty seconds. Go on. Do it. Do it. I won't make my plan until you do. Go on. <laughs> Thank you for your order, Super Tristan. <laughs> Let me write that down this time. Something about sector commander orders, I just don't write them down. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. I just don't do anything. The waiter just stares at you. Le cube times one. Thank you. Do it. You won't spawn mactoids. <laughs> don't spawn mactoids. Alright, that's fine. You know what? No one's going to order anything else this mission, so that's fine. We are... <laughs> Thay Crisis says Kofi isn't loading for me right now. Lol, too many people waiting in line. Really? That's funny. You should have a Marcus system for all the orders is about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. I should. <laughs> Immediate contact. This is a better place to fight from from the other side I th than on the other side, I think. Unlike the other side, your flank can be covered with the hill. Uh, you have a lot of, like, full cover, like, with clear sight lines facing downwards. And I think it has elevation? Step, step, step. Yeah, it's three steps down for elevation. So here to here is low ground. So as long as you keep them down there, you have high advantage, I think. Pretty sure it's three steps. Also, if you clear the hill, you can put people up here. Though the, the sight lines kind of suck up here, but we have the magic of magic spell. So we have many options to deal with that. Probably in this case, we'll immediately push forward, activate whatever, whatever's there, and use the power of magic spell to try and defeat it. Though... Hmm, I got a lot of stationary fire units, like Rocketeers, which wouldn't appreciate that. Hmm. So actually, you need like a turn to get in the cover, which is really awkward here. I want to know what it is first. I want to just like get PG... Scanning it first, I think. Anyone else want that cover? Okay. PG, I think I want you to find out what it is first. That might activate, I think, so probably don't go there. Come, like, somewhere else instead, like... Yeah, because that's fucking close. That's just right outside PG's wheelhouse, actually. That's really fucking close. So if that's there, I want to, like, go to the side. So I want PG to come over here. And I want to throw a scan down here and see what it is immediately, I think. Just immediately see what's going down over here. Oh. New 23 donation yeah. from That's a Weezo. That's a Weezo ordered. Can he get to a car? One, two, three, four, five. Some <laughs> stupid birds. Five more, so that takes us up to 14. Out of 20 added, you can order six more aliens, chat. Thank you very much. You can order six more aliens, and that's it. Ka ka. Thank you, the Crisis, for your stupid bird's order. Now, with, uh, now with level four floater. Don't let me, don't let me scam you. Don't let me forget the, the, the level for the orders now. Do 
Joe, let me scam you. Commander, we've got another transmission coming in from the council. Thank you, Carnage. Carnage sent in a hundred pennies and says to the boss. <laughs> yeah, you got it, buddy. <laughs> Someone comes in and just like slams down a dollar in silver coins and shrapnel in change on the counter and says, I'll take five lobster thermidors. Uh, okay, it was, sorry, I gotta write this down too. It's a Weezo times one. New nice easy pod. That's it. That's it. We maxed out. Maxed out. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, that's it. That's our raider. That's uh, this is doable, right? No, oh, he's doing it again. Sexy times six. Thank you, Super Tristan. Thank you, Super Tristan and Fake Crisis. We got one La Cube, six Sectoids, and a Wise Those Stupid Days. We can do this. 14 sectoids and a commander in open country. But there's no mechtoid this time. I can do this. I can easily do this. This is easy. He, he's not going to learn his lesson this time. This is going to be easy. There's a bunch of mech. I can just run up and shoot immediately. Everything is fine. This is going to be simple. It's going to be very shrimple. I should have put you somewhere where the ship could have covered you both. As it is... I'm going to make sure it's in the map. Well, yeah. Mm, don't talk about that. One. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Again. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So if you go to here, you're fine. Okay, you can also go to here, and that's not going to be a problem. It's also worth noting, then, that this is the cover you want to collapse, probably this turn. We need to start prepping the field for the uh, aliens immediately. Um, the sectoids will have half cover. You can't do of the terrain berms, uh, unless you just run to Trash Hill. Which is a way to consider it. We could just go to Trash Hill... But doesn't AQL get the full range squad site from elevation, I think? Like, we could just go to Trash Hill and, like, hide, but even there you haven't really got good loss coverage. I think that probably the secret here is this position has a clear line of sight for, especially if you go one step up, for AQL to have high ground overwatching on the sectoids coming in. So either here or here, you position her. And your goal is to destroy all the cover that they could use against you, so this and this full cover immediately. So that there's no loss blockers, and you can gun down every sector on the way in. We're not sure if basic sectors have low profile. I think they all do. Yeah, true, actually. True. So destroying the cover doesn't matter that much, but it does matter for getting rid of loss blockers. You need to get rid of this, this, this. This, this. There's a lot to get rid of. Bounty says, base sectors have no low profile from yesterday's mission. Then why did all of those sectors have low profile on the base assault? Base defense. Swift says the base defense might have been bugged. Oh, that's right. Swift said that his mod might have had a bug where every alien spawn on the base defense was a navigator or a leader or something. That motherfucker. Is that why all of those sectoids had 100% the side panic remind for me? Alien life forms. Sectoids. Leader progression. Low profile will. Wait, how much fucking will did they have? <laughs> God, God damn it, are you kidding? <laughs> oh my Man, god, navigators get so much. Navigators get so much will. <laughs> SWF killed Benjamin Bug Skipper! <laughs> oh my god! That's so fucked up! <laughs> oh 
Stream the mission played as late. It's far too late. It's far, far too late. I cannot believe SWF is working for the Ethereals, though. But I'm afraid it's far, far too late to cope about that now, everyone. That's right. A poor craftsman blames his opposition. That's right. <laughs> That's fucking funny, though. Oh my god. That's affirmative. That was payback for everything I've ever done to SWF before. Everything I've ever said that SWF didn't like, that was payback that one day. Finish some backup saves. I do, but I don't. I, like we're gonna, we're gonna play on. It's fine. We're gonna play on. That's that's too far off the field. That's been snuck through the VAR. That's fine. Um, you to here. So you want to come to like this position, and then we want to get like others ready to go. Have AQ will come over here and get ready to OV watch. Moving to position. So I think I'm going to want to hover over, over here in the end. If we can get... It's not good loss from here, but if we get rid of that... So this might be the first one to get rid of, actually. If we get rid of that, her loss should look much better. She'll have clear lines to there and all of here. And if she has elevation, she should have, like, really good, like... And, and it keeps her back. We don't want her to get fucked up. The only better position would be, like, here, but then she's in half cover. Here, she's in full cover, has step out, but there's a lot of full cover to fuck her. This doesn't give them as much full cover. You need to have PG. Hmm. Ready to take care of that. Does this let her see them? No. See, the advantage of being in this position is at least you see them then, but then you're too close to the doors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ooh. It might seem early, but this is actually the time to be testing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ooh, this position. She's kind of too far forward though, because then you have to take these positions to support her, and then you get fucked. Well, I was gonna say this position actually isn't in range of the full covers. So that's nice. Someone else can go here though. So I think going to here is probably better. Because I think that'll be fine. Because you can't go here because no loss to the right. And here's a little bit frontal, I think. So yeah, Ikuro's going to go there. Um, Brit, where do you want to go? This is probably Brit's spot right here. In the end. No, maybe here, actually. Maybe here. We'll, we'll look around. I don't know where the fuck Regalis is going, I got no clue. On that. Not at the front. Who goes up front? Who's like the most goes up the front? I guess it kind of has to be Brit on that spot eventually. Makes the most sense. There's nothing really for Brit to like, necessarily kill. But Brit also has really high will, so that's nice. Oh, the leader's giving them high will. Where does Cabler can go? Cabler can maybe goes here. I think. We'll see how your rocket angles are in a second. Regardless, if anything, you want to be holding probably the left chunk instead of the right chunk because you can push up to here and have really nice sight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, like you can just like blow all this shit up and have nice sight lines. So if anything, you want to be holding over here. It's also got better loss for cheesing the sectoids if it comes down to it. This is unexplored as well, so you just don't know what's going to hit you from that side. So, in general, if no one has anywhere to go, we'll start trucking to the side. Probably want to bring Monsieur back after this fight, because also they can use this full cover to push up on you really annoyingly. So that means... Commander, you're going to come over to here. Carnage, what are you talking about? 100 pennies, stroke the noses of the alien squids, 100 pennies, Valen sister. What are you talking about? What's happening, Carnage? Got it, covered. Okay, you're gonna come to here. I'm on it, Commander. I'm gonna clear this immediately. Can I get everything? Oh, can I get everything? Nope. I wish I could, but I can't. Ah! I can maybe get all of this, though. 
Can I, can I just get the tree? Can I get the tree? No. Okay. But you can get all of that. Probably don't get that half cover. That's more likely for me to use than them. More likely I'm going to get to use that. So specifically don't blow that up. Just uh, blow all this up instead. I mean, what? Wait. I'm so fucking collateral damage build. Why would I want to destroy that? That's, that's for me. <laughs> I just like, I'm given the option to destroy cover and I'm like, e every single piece. Every piece. What am I talking about? Why, why would I do that? That's my cover. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> just go like, oh yeah, I can get all this cover. No, that's mine. Overwatch. I'm gonna shred next turn if they don't move. Okay, that's gonna get shredded. Though, um... Well, I was gonna say, shouldn't we use the one of heat, but there might be actually be real, real mech pods on this map. So better to do this with you and save the heat shredder anyway, because I shouldn't need heat to kill this in the end. We have Wokan, why do we need cover? Yeah, we have one Wokan, why do we need any cover? You're dead on right. Getting it done. I'm gonna overwatch of you. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Let's get it popping here. In case we made for using an HE there to just trim more cover quickly, but I'm not gonna do it. Save those HEs for the sec toys, we're gonna need them. Enemies in sight. Okay, here they come. Nice. Shredder would have been better to wait, really. They came straight at me. But that's okay, they're landed. We should be able to slap them up here. Especially with the power of Heat Hound. Brit, let's get some shots here. On everyone but the last one, which we really want to get, unfortunately. But you gotta take what you can get. What I can get here is bong. It's right out. I can only see one now. So bong. Quick the orders. Oh thanks! Monster Target, the only one brave enough to remind me that I'm playing Kitchen Nightmares. Sorry, it's just so easy for me to forget I'm not playing no more long war. I really would just take your money and then just, like, not give you the aliens you bought, because I'm that stupid. I have that much dementia in my brain, sorry. <laughs> Monster's on the mission. But Monster believes in sportsmanship and feritude. Okay, yeah. So, first of all, drop Sectoid Commander. And... God bless that there's a commander. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, and then we gotta go. Um, Weezo Stupides, which is prop four, drop floater, and then it's two more floaters, drop floater, drop floater, drop drone, drop drone. Let me know, let me know if I ever get this wrong. PG's now about to say something unfunny, like, yeah, you, you was meant to have a mech toid in it. Shut up, PG. Uh, and then six more sectoids. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. All right, should all be done. Thank you. All done. <laughs> Thanks, Philip. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. You probably disable fog when you're putting the aliens to make sure you're not putting them somewhere weird. Yeah, actually, now that we know that toggling fog definitely doesn't um, show the aliens, you're right. I should do it, so I'm not guessing. Good point. From now on, we'll do that. We'll toggle foul. Okay, let's get you. <laughs> I love doing a 27 crit. It gives me life. 
very enjoyable experience. Uh, but now we have to finish off that big Seiko. On the move. But if I use the gunner to finish off the big Seiko, I don't get the collateral again. So it's probably better to just let the Seiko come closer. I don't think we're going to kill it this turn anyway, by the look of it. Yes, Let's probably just let it come. Um, you actually can't make it over here. So you've got to go to the right for this turn. Don't activate anything. Hooray! Defense 29. Defense 34. Okay, you're good. You got body shield as well, so you're extra good. Then he says wasted on the land one. Dog Nogum could have free shot and potentially high roll. Yeah, you're right. You a donation from Benjamin Bugskeeper's ghost. <laughs> Because of my bug, the Tuno reward <laughs> XCOM with 25 free meld. <laughs> Save the word, my final message, goodbye. <laughs> I'd love to give myself 25 mail for $2, but um, I won't do it this time. But it's the thought that counts, Bugs Givers. Ghost, thank you. <laughs> my final message, goodbye. <laughs> Let's go, opportunists. Oh, I gotta check the rocket angles too. The rocket angles are okay, but they're also kind of crap. You get like a good one here, but it's not really good enough. We're gonna have to move you, I think. But for this turn, it's fine. Wow, Bugskeeper died for that mouth. What am I supposed to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? Care? I can't. What? No, wrong button. Fuck. Complete waste of ammo. Oh, let's, just over oh, let's just reload a view. Loggy says, my final message would not have been so kind of swift. <laughs> the stupid fucking... <laughs> the stupid fucking seeker. <laughs> Stoop says, if not for the bug, the bug seeker will still be with us. I mean, there's a certain level of cope to that. We don't know that. <laughs> it's possible, but we don't know that. Okay. There was still a lot of shit on that mission. So we're going to collide again is the choice here. I'm probably going to like push on up. Let's go beep beep. Let's go up. Oh fuck. And that is what I was expecting to see a motion tracker but I do not like the way I'm seeing it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, and the rockets are even worse this turn. Okay. So, that's very bad. And that looks like... What do you think that is? Do you think that's the aliens that were just ordered? I mean, that's not how pods look. That's probably the aliens, actually. Because it'd be about here. You reckon they could have dashed that in one turn? Did I pick anything fast? The sector line float. Yeah, it must. It must be the bot aliens. Pods don't look like that. That must be the bot aliens, which means AQL needs to start popping them. Maybe you stay here. We prep the rocket. Can I get another rocket up? I can get one to here. AQL can't get to there anyway. Actually, so this is the question here. Do I want? Do I run away? But if I run away, it's like this weird, like oblique angle. I don't have any rockets prepped. I could just fight in this direction. I mean, there's, there's no reason I can't just take this cover, right? Well, there is, because they might come from the side. But they're not. You can see, Beagle, you can see they're not coming from the side. So because you can see that, you can take the, the flanks. It's fine. Scanner to the left. I actually want to scanner to the right so I can get AQL long range overwatch on them, I think. Either way, Shiv is probably going to fall back, right? Maybe. Yeah, probably going to fall back. So who's going to kill this Seiko? Is the question. You come here for a sec. On my way. Britt, can you shoot him from here? Yeah, you come here, Britt. Gotcha.
Please hit. Just solve my problems, Brit. I love you. Oh, I love you, Brit. Love you, Brit, Brit. We're gonna run the shiv back over to the to the this side so we can see if anything's coming from the, the other direction. Okay, very good. So nothing coming from that side for now. We can afford to... No, not with you. PG. Oh god, PG is in the wrong fucking spot for this, though. They're too far away to shoot you this turn, PG, so you can just run to here. They're not gonna see you, because that'll be... Yeah, there, there's no way. There's no way on this green earth that they would see PG making yeah, this move. Now. It's totally fine. We're gonna throw a scanner over. Scanner de combat activé. I think we saw like wh Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I knew it was too close to be set the fucking God damn it! <laughs> okay, so it's not the bot aliens. It's two sectoids, th three floaters and a muton. <laughs> Next to the meld! And yeah, they are in height, for fuck's sake! <laughs> it's like the bimbofication meme, but I don't know what it's trying to say. <laughs> okay. So... Um, confirm we have shots. I kind of want to leave AQL right here, lock and load an Overwatch, and then like just get this Rocketeer steadied somewhere else. I guess like like this. Sectoid reaches down to pick up a plasma rifle, turns into a muton. Nice tits. <laughs> get a kill to the right, so you get them all in one shot. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Over here. Oh, <laughs> right. Collateral. <laughs> You're making it funny. You're making it funny, funny. I might stay here an extra turn of Monsieur, steady rocket, and get ready to just blow them all up. Like, if they don't move, I'm going to rocket that. It is also, the, like, probably, like, my one chance before the floaters show up to get Monsieur target away. Monsieur target is absolutely in a position there where they are not supported by fire. I think it's greedy, actually, to stay there. I think I just gotta get the fuck out of there. That's Step greedy. You're giving up your right flank, but I don't have the forces to hold that right flank. You need to treat this as uh, enemy ground. Dead, uh, sorry, not enemy ground, but, like, you know, dead ground. This is not good. Just get back to here while you still can, and hold the cube here. All of our successful clutches in this campaign come from holding two directions at once. We can do it. But I had me, PG, just supporting. Well, you can't support yourself, PG. And... Uh, sorry, uh, Monsieur. And also, PG isn't really good support for you. They can't really do anything in that in that situation where you get like mind mind fuckoed. Um, let's have you come to here for a sec. Oh, you're trying to italicize? I see. Rocket here there would have made sense. Okay, so. Hmm. We're gonna yeah, Ready come here. Stoops is praying for a lucky floater crit, the same as from PG's soldier. <laughs> sentry has Overwatch perks. Yeah, you're right. It's Muton Sentry. It's killing time. Come get some. Which makes it even worse. Oh fuck, I forgot. Collat again. Collateral damage. Yeah, collat this. Yep. Give him the good news. Make that no man's land that we need. Okay, so now we have proof that it isn't actually a thing. See, I wasn't sure. Oh god, hunt mode. I wasn't sure if the AQL 
elevated squad sight bonus thing was real on Overwatch, but it isn't. So you don't get elevation bonus on squad sight. We know definitively now, forever and always, you do not get it. Do I swear on one mission it seemed like we did, but you don't. You just don't. Also, this fucking thing is in the way, goddammit. I gotta move you again. Yeah, Overwatch range is fixed, yeah. You don't get it. Forever and always we know this, you, you do not get it. Hey, that's not worth it. It just wasn't high enough. <laughs> We're just not high enough, just a little, little more height. Come over here, because I want to make sure that my left isn't being run up on. One, two, three, four, five. I want you to come to here and check my left. Yeah, okay. Because we're gonna have everyone else, like, watch from this direction is what's about to happen. AQL's angle sucks there, so I need to move her. I may even move, I think, Cabler can to here and steady. Robin Bird to here and Overwatch. We're even here and Overwatch. Other Rocketeer is also in position to... You can get a rocket from here, I think. That'd probably be an okay rocket angle. But I think, well, again, she's the Overwatch Queen. Brit needs to also get ready for action. Maybe Brit come over here, actually, and you reload in this position and shoot. It's kind of awkward angles here, but we're going to do our best. All right, so yeah, you come to here. I'm on it. Come on. PG's got a really important job of that last scanner is going to be used at a pivotal time in the firefight to make sure our left stays clear. The workmobile can also do it. So PG's like a little less important. Just a little bit. I want you to hop up. That won't reveal, right? It shouldn't, but will it? Doesn't seem like it will. No, no green circles, yeah? Yeah, no green circles. Green circle, so you can hop right up here. Whoop. Muscly fiber working out nicely there. I'm on it, Commander. AQL is going to come over watch from here. Aye, aye, Commander. It's kind of uh, not great how these guys are timed so well that they're going to basically hit me right as the rest of the board aliens probably crash into me. But I don't see the rest of the board aliens on scanner yet, so I guess it's not so bad yet. It could be worse. Yeah, chef. Yes, Chef. Phyllis says, if you had a trolley problem with PG Tips and Wokan, which would you choose? Maybe we'll find out this mission. Who knows? Yeah, the rocket's not great, but it'll have to do. Yours is much better. Overwatching AQL. Overwatching. Reloading. For more. Crap. And reloading you. Now come engage me before the the fort ones get here on you. Don't don't let them cross it perfectly. You fuckers. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We got them. Nice. Snipe them, AQL. One down. One, two, three, four, five. Two floaters. A muton. The floaters are immediately on my right flank. Nice shooting. Without a crit, it's not enough, though. It's the sectoids we really gotta get, though. They're, they're the big problems. Oh, baby! Oh, baby, baby. Hold the shred for that one. This is building into a very frightening situation. PG probably gonna throw a scanner again to snipe that shit as it comes in. Uh, I can collateral you and then Brit you. Pretty good. I think there's a floater over here. I might rocket that. Maybe we'll see. Content incoming. Content is indeed incoming, yes. I have standard smokes as well that PG could chuck. Hmm. 
So I can get two of you are exposed. There's a third floater. Actually, if I collapse that one, that could be the one to collapse. Because I got 87 on you. I can likely kill you. Especially with the hollow. I can, I can likely kill you without collapsing that. So if I collapse this one, I get the floater that hid behind here instead. Then AQL just has to kill that sector as it comes in, and we're Gucci. Is that within range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not quite in range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I can't hit and run you because you still have half cover. So you just kind of have to get AQL, which means you have to move anyway, unless we just kill you. You really need to stay in that position. I might just rocket over here. What's the other rocketeer's shred? Because this... No shred, okay. You're the one who wants to rocket these floaters. If I can get a good angle. Because I need the shred ready for the berserker incoming. So, like, let's say I put a rocket here, right? It doesn't even necessarily kill that back floater, though. But I could smoke. PG can throw a smoke. That covers you as well, as long as there's only one floater left. Brit wants to kill this muton, hopefully goes dead. Dead one of the floaters. You go hit and run on the other floater. Yep, plus you. Yep, 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 yep. Really, Wokound, as cool as it is to cover the flank here, Wokound should come back over and should next turn be covering this position so this doesn't happen again for the Rocketeer. And then PG has to dash over and take over Wokan's job of watching the, the side. Okay. And we do have the collat. I don't know what I want the collat for yet. I could also just shoot. I could just straight up shoot you, but... It does get rid of some cover that's going to constantly be used against me if I don't deal with it soon. I think the first thing to find out is... W if it's a rocket just on this one floater, it's probably a waste compared to just smoking the Rocketeer. So the first thing to find out is if Brick can one-shot this Muton. Do I want to collapse that with that in mind? It just takes away some more cover, and the point is to make a no-man's land. So I feel like, yes, I want to collapse. Yes, collateral damage. So you would come to here, and you would collapse down here, and you would take out all of this if possible. So come on over. Moving out. Uh, you actually can't get it all. Interesting. You might just barely get that, but I'm not going to use the collapse there just because it doesn't look doesn't look that good. Next turn, maybe if you move to here. You can get it. So that doesn't look that good. Uh, Woke Hound, I want to bring you I think to here and get the gun going. Oh, no. You're going to be able to see. Can you see him from there? Yeah, okay. Woke Hound, come here. And then you, 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 you. Okay, so Brit, let's start it off like I was saying. Let's go Brit, start it off on the Muton. You need to kill the Muton. Please don't miss. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfectly done. Nabrit can kill another one of these ones, though that only leaves over potentially two shots against the incoming Zerker, which is also something to consider. Regardless, let's bring the ally ship up here and get a shot off. If we can afford to not shoot with Brit and just reload her instead of the Zerker, it'd be great. I really hate that the striker ever loses extra ammo. And a laser. It really sucks. That's a good candidate for a hit and run, I think. Good, good candidate for a hit and run. Got him. And then you probably... Hmm. You probably... Mayhem this one. 
and prep both the rockets to deal with the incoming Zerker. So you probably have to back off to get a good rocket against them. AQL is overwatching for this floater. Alright, you can help shoot here too. So yeah, you probably help shoot here. Go on and give it a shooty because we want to get the mayhem ready, I think. Very nice. Now, could you, uh, Robin Bird, actually then do a laser finish? It's 94. You have no ranger. 68. Doesn't look good. Not a good use of your time. If you want to be safe, you'd want a laser rifle finish this off, I think. And I do want to be safe. So, Robin Bird probably laser rifle finishes this. Do you do it from that position? Is there anywhere better you can do it from? Like here? But then you're exposed. So, no, don't do it from there. Best spot for you, I think. You got body shield as well. Okay, let's go. Nice. Destroyed. That's it. She doesn't get any more. No more hit and run for her. We reload Brit to get ready for the Zerker. Next turn, we need to worry about incoming on our left flank. Uh, Kiblukan... What are we going to do with you? Kiblukan needs to get smoked. That's that's just it, I think. So we'll go... 3, 5, 7, 7, 7, 5, 3. 3, 5, 7, 7. You're the best big... Thank you, Roots. I saw what you said in the pregame, Roots, about me being the best XCOM. Thank you, I appreciate it. Five, seven, seven. Three, five, seven, seven. Okay, right there. No contact smoke. Time, that's right, Jando. Time to have some smokes. So that covers, or it should if it goes down the elevation, it should cover the Rocketeer from the potential floater flank. Yep. Not perfectly, but to a degree. Just steady you again. We're really betting on, hopefully, AQL will cover us from that, honestly. Locked and loaded. Though, so. she may fail to. We'll see. You don't get another move. You get to reload. To you, my friend. Like I said, I think we want to just get your rocket in a different position. Because if the Berserker goes there, it's going to be anno annoying. It's probably alright, but it'd be better to have you here in general. So we'll start moving you this turn. That's affirmative. And there we go. That's turn. We got the woke hog back in action finally. Ooh, floater using full cover. She's only got a seventy. Clever floater. Negative damage. I like the name woke hog. That's incredible. A ten woke hog. Now I think you're still out of range of the rocketeer at least. They're trying to pull back. Ooh, that's down. really annoying. Because the Zerk is about to come in, I think. If we're lucky, it'll be another turn. Yeah, we got another turn. That's lucky because we weren't ready for it with AQL. But it's unlucky because it makes the rest of the board aliens just get closer and closer. Now that is Kalat. Man, you can't Kalat unless you have literally full ammo. Oh. And the contacts are beginning on the left side. There's the raider floater there. Uh oh. I need to like suppress you and flush you and uh, AQL you, I think. Here, come here. I think it actually fucks her step out even more, but um... But I think she should be able to like step out this way, so we'll see. So yeah, we're gonna reload, suppress, overwatch, flush, get rid of that floater. We're gonna fall you back to break loss. Brit's gonna have to fall back to probably like... I mean, fuck, this isn't, this isn't great. Um, is that in smoke? No, but we could pop a combat drug smoke as well, soon. Robin can go to here, but then... I mean, if there's a Berserker, you'll be able to shoot it with Brit, but then you pull it into the smoke as well. There's there's questions, there's questions here. Don't need to load those knocks yet. Doc has to load the knocks, that's true. Probably bring Doc back to here. Brit to here. 
you stay there. Just kind of have to abandon this position because of this shit coming in, which isn't great. At least for a second. Unless Brit just walks up and shoots you, but I think... What's your... What's your... It's a 74 with you. You, you don't have any defense. You just have... Oh, well, you have 30 flying defense. I think wait till they come in on me. Which also means you lot need to not be... Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, first things first. Back online. Reload. Overwatch. Suppress. Hollow. And flush. Almost dead. Just need one more little tap. 80% they're using the cover again. They're so smart. really bad. She doesn't get overwatch for the rest of the turn either. This is terrible. Alright. This is because we didn't bring a scope on AQL. Yeah, full cover the kind of for AQL. Yeah, the, the way it's like get, giving them the benefits of the full cover against our overwatch is making her just miss so much. AQL is washed. Whoa! Let's not, let's not get crazy here. I don't, I don't think she's washed. Whoa! Okay, Brit, gonna come to this spot. Checking. Robin Bird, back to here. When you love Flutter had reaction? What? No. Oh, maybe it's trying to tell you they have CCS. PG need to be ready to bombard covers when needed. Yeah, PG actually doesn't have that good range. But yeah, we lack we lack collateral now. I need a scanner over here to see everything coming, I think. It's just a bug. It's not really. It's just a thing it says. It's not real, though, I don't think. Okay, let's scan all of this so that we can see all this coming. Put a scanner, like, right there. Yeah. I don't like where this is going so far. But the board aliens aren't really mobbing me yet, but I feel like they're all going to hit me at the same time with that Zerker, and that is not good. If it happens. Still holding that rocket as a result. Still waiting for it. I'm going to prep this for the floater raider. Prep this in general. Kind of fortunate again. Getting away with that again. Oh! Fucking brain genius! Please tell me it was a dash. Yes, it was a dash. We are rocketing that. Kind of annoying that the Brain Genius hasn't mind merged yet, but still. Like they in Brain Genius must be destroyed. Oof, Even if you don't get free sectoid kills off it, mind control is not to be fucked with. Can you imagine the greed of like leaving the Brain Genius alive intentionally? Because it's like, but we want him to we want him to get the sectoids first. Enemy in sight. <laughs> He's indestructible cover, he is. We don't have collab, but we will, we will rocket them. Yeah, and of course, the classic. AQ probably wants to come over to the left. We want to shift away from the right side, I think. Rather than having it be biased right, uh, spoiler left, we want to go biased left, spoiler right, I think. Especially with how slow the Zerkers are coming in. If we can keep that going, that's good. Though right now, we're going to have to hold our position because we need to get this fucker. Now, do you in the back have the range... No, you don't, which isn't good. So, like, we have a shot here, but what's the follow-up? We have the rocket, but then I think Brit has to push back forward again. Yeah, Brit's gonna have to push back forward. Probably gonna have to get Wokeout to cover Brit to push back forward, actually. Which means AQL's gonna move, but that's okay. Like, can you see from here? Yeah, so can Brit get to that position? No, but Brit can get to here after the Rocketeer is fired. So that's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to smoke again. Man, this is one knockable target. Hope my merch happens next turn now that Sucker's are in range. I, I kind of want to, but I think it's also too much greed. I think it's too much greed, you know? I think we just got to take the fucker out while we can. And we can take him out this turn, for sure. 
I can also blow up that door. Hit him while you can. Oh, let it rain. <laughs> Master Chef says, I want to see an episode of Kitchen Nightmares where that one sound effect is replaced with the sector piano thing. <laughs> oh, fucking annoying. It's, um... Fucking annoying. It's actually invisible now because the rock was stepping it out. But I, but that, that we, we should be able to get it if we bring up the alloy ship to here. We should be able to get it still. Or even here, and then it move the alloy ship up to there after. Knock him go in. True, knock him can also go in. That's actually a really good point. I don't see any lightning on the left. Does that activate the outsiders yet? Not quite yet. Knockham could also get other kills. This is like a really good turn to like move up and kill shit. Even at risk to ourselves. Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, so not quite on the outsiders yeah, but afterwards. First second mission is first mission. What if you wait till it my merge little sector? No, it's it's greed. It's not a good idea. That is how you die. That's a greedy, greedy idea. I'm sure of it. That's too much greed. Greed is good. No, greed is bad. Coward beagle. No. Okay, hang on. Robin's gonna go up. Hello, hello. That was a really nice rocket, what the fuck? That did so much damage. Robin probably doesn't get the free though there, but what Robin could potentially do is free kill this sectoid, which is good. Greed is content. <laughs> yeah, I guess. PG can do another smoke if we all push up to engage here. So if you come to here, you can kill the mind, ma mind master, mind man, mind, 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 mind man, mind, mind master, mind. You can kill the master mind. Yeah, but that's that it would be amazing. You still have to deal with the floaters though. Regardless, got to get to shooting. I think shoot this floater, and then once your target can come over here and shoot one as well. Then you're exposed. Uh, I gotta kill this floater in particular, I think. Okay. Maybe this is a command turn too, I think. Who would want to command here? Like... What I could do is I could kill every second of AQL. Probably Brit. You would command Brit, actually. No, Brit's the commander. Fuck. Um, okay. Five, six, seven, eight damage. The Mayhem Strike Rifle really needs to hit that. Though the G, the G Auto Rifle could do it as well, but then the G Auto Rifle has to move it up, which sucks. Okay, I think Brit, Brit comes and gets you. For a start. And the Alisha moves in. Probably Brit comes up here. Here, so the Brit has hide advantage on the Mind Master as well. Not the Brit should hopefully need it, but that's what we'll do. But then Brit wants to command someone, so Brit goes. Not yet. Brit moves up to this position. I'm on the move. We don't shoot the Mind Genius yet. We get a hundred percent. You're pretty much guaranteed to die. So who else goes first? I don't think you can command Wokound. But Wokound's gonna come here anyway, for reasons. I'm gonna reload. That was actually kinda of dangerous. I shouldn't have done that because there was a potential there that I could have blocked off Brit's loss somehow. Okay, you can't command an ally shiv. So my choices are more hit and run shots. No, because you'd rather use AQL for that if, if you're gonna do that. Could command regardless to shoot again. There's still that floater on the right, but at this point I'm gonna have, like deal with that, I think. Just be like, fuck it. We ball. So I think the next thing is, yeah, you shoot here. 
Fuck you. God damn it. Fuck you, god damn it. PG was gonna smoke, right? Yeah, PG was gonna smoke. Maybe we try to get AQL's drug smoke here. But then she's really exposed to the left and gets fucked up by the that floater. No, no, no. What can you see if you come to here, Monsieur? Nothing. Because that's where Brit was. You can see nothing. Okay, so you come to here. Or you. You you actually have to come to here, I think. You come to here. Shoot. And then we command you to overwatch again, probably. I want to get those damn sectoids, but... I guess PG... It's PG has to smoke. I was going to say PG could grenade, but PG has to smoke. And Monster could do it. I mean, Monster could do it, but then where does AQL go? Okay, so Monster comes here and shoots them. Probably the most useful thing Monster does this turn, apart from steady a rocket. Which also could be useful, though. If Nockham's gonna say Nockham, you gonna shoot twice. Yeah, but I wanna get the sectoids of Nockham. I'm trying to kill. Do, 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 do. So let's say you come to here, you kill this one. Brit Mayhem's you. You. If you come to here, can you shoot right? Or here, perhaps. If you come to here, you can shoot one of them, then Overwatch. Yeah. But that's also the spot that you were going to take. Hang on. So you would have to come to... Oh, fuck. Okay, so Monsieur comes here. No. Fuck. Quiet Lurker comes here. What's your defense? 48. 28. Yeah, definitely Quiet Lurker comes here. If Quiet Lurker can see... The Sectoid still, which I don't think she'll be able to. You can kill one. I want to get those Sectoids. So Quiet Lurker comes here. You have to come here despite your lower defense. It's fine because they'll be more in the line of fire than you, I think. Greed. Well, it's not even greed. It's just I'm going to get overwhelmed by sectoids. I have to take the sectoids out. And then PG can, like, come to here and smoke, I guess. AQL gets commanded to overwatch, and, like, that's the turn, I think. Okay, I think that's, like, the turn. So the first thing that has to happen is Monster has to come to here. Monster has to finish off this one, please. Terrific. Bye -bye. Now AQL wants to come to here. Heading out. AQL wants to shoot one of these sectoids. And then you're going to shoot the back one. So you're going to shoot the back one? So AQL wants to shoot the front one. Why is the front one not flanked? Because you can't see him. So yeah, you're going to shoot this one right here. It's only a sectoid I hear you say. No, they're, they're never only sectoids. Shoot that one. Down. Good shot. Now, we're gonna command you. Okay. Fuck me, I guess. Fuck me. I'll just go fuck myself. I'll just go fuck myself. Okay. We can't see her, apparently. So we don't get Overwatch from her this turn. Okay. Alright. With that in mind, do I want another shot on Robin Bird instead? No, I don't think so. Just want to keep your shots in case we need to do that. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do both, Bounty. I could save Command for next turn. The Berserker might come. I don't really need it now. You do have a still three shots because of ammo problems? Yeah, but I really wanted to get the sectors before they, like, get to cover and fuck Robin. So I think in this case we're just saving command now. Which is not as cool, but it's what we're doing. And kill you. Get the fuck out of here. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Get that nasty fuck right here. And we got a frontlining medic here, because everyone enjoys that. Nice shot. Taken out, Sectoids. Gonna fire again on that one there, I think. Keep the shots coming. Nice. 
Nice! Robin! Doc, knock him! Let's knock! Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Do 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 now the worst thing here is the Berserker. Oh, sorry, also the Outsiders is bad. But the worst thing here is the Berserker part about to smash into me. I should still have a shred though for it though. Just not steady. It's time to knock him and cock him and I'm all out of cock. One more turn of no Berserker maybe, if I get lucky. Like a fourth turn running to try and get my Overwatch ready for it. Oh, hello. Oh, that's uh... Ah! Okay, it's time. The Seto just stacking up over there. Which is good. They haven't really got the cover to push me right now. Seto uses fire and Sergeant Robin Bird. At least he's on a mind fray. There's more pods over there. Hey! Oh, is that a fucking... Holy shit, that's a single... <laughs> oh shit. So this isn't... Go oh, what the fuck? It's an outsider captain. What the shit is this? Why is there a big one? Oh, I'm super flanked from the right. Oh, fuck. This is the turn I was dreading the entire time. The everything hits me at once turn when that Berserker pod finally arrives. Oh, it's not good. Okay. I do have command, yes. So I need to shred, but that's gonna pull in the smoke? No, not quite. I need to shred and get AQL, AQL ready to kill. No more smoke, which makes this right side bad, but what the fuck are you gonna do about it? You need to come on and get a medic DLC. No, we're not evacuating yet. If we kill the Berserker and then clear our right flank, this is very doable. Yeah, I probably just need to wear the floater shots, I agree. What's the use of the command here? Grenades, perhaps? Shotguns? I can't combat drugs yet. Brit, big shot, but it's about to get a lot worse. I need to pull this fucker away is the problem. I want to shred, but losing Brit's mayhem strike shot against them is bad. But who else can you strike? You got good other targets. Yeah, fuck me, you could actually maybe take out the Outsider Captain. Well, you could help. I think it's gonna go... Ah, but they're gonna be too close and AQL's shots are gonna suck. But it's gotta go AQL, Rapid Reaction, Overwatch, here, then a Shred, from Dan Kabler can. It also gets the floater, and that floater. Plan on second to shift? Yeah, 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 You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore this floater, probably. Which hurts less, Berserker Fist or Outsider Shot? Uh, Berserker Fist. I don't know how much damage captains get, but absolutely. Okay, so reload, right? Ready to rock. Overwatch. We're gonna have great fun here by smoking. Well, we can't go into the woke bay. Woke can probably is going to the woke bay, yes. This is very likely here. 
We're gonna shred all of them here. Beep beep. Kills a floater. Zerker and Timmy, we need the AQL shots. We need the AQL shots. 78, please don't miss now. Don't fuck us now. Good. Don't f- Oh shit, it's fucking- Okay, it's in smoke now. I think PG needs to grenade that. But no, well... It, it's gonna trash AQL's shot, but AQL's shots are probably fucked now anyway. The only thing I could do is have the shiv run over here and pull it out of the smoke again. It's probably one of the better things you could do in general. Why is the shot less than 100 there? Too close. Yeah, too close. Everything going on here is just not ideal for AQL. So yeah, probably... Ooh, you can flush. Does that actually make you run away? Either way, like people said, sacking the shiv is a wise move here. Let it go out there and do its job. It won't be back for a month, but that's fine. This is a hard mission. You rather that than people going down. Like, someone's getting a 70-day wound at best here in this mission. May as well be the alloy shiv. And he says against melee, they should run away if I flush them. But then don't... But then that's, that's... Wait, where do I put the shiv if I want them to end up back here? If I go here and flush them, they'll go into smoke more. But I want to use flush to hit them in the smoke. I guess I could go here. And then either it pushes them out of smoke or pulls them to, into it. I don't think they're on hit move. Hmm. Then... Here? Actually? Like right there? It's like point blank. I can't put the shiv in smoke because otherwise you guys will get fucked. Find a nade because it pulls them where I don't want them. Hello, hello. Go away. 58 from AQL because it's in our own smoke. AQL! Clutch! Prove you're more than just perks! Yes! Well done. That's the way, lady. That's the way. And another one. 95 for the finish. Let's fucking go! Nerf! Zerker's gone. Excellent. Excellent. Very important shot she hit there. Very good for efficiency. Now we're left in a better position, but still not great. Uh, Brit, quite exposed, by the way. I wonder who is the most important shot here. I almost think the outsider captain, but I think it depends where this rocketeer, what this rocketeer can do too. That rocket is shit. Don't fire that rocket. If I can get hollow on the captain... You're spending everything you have to kill the captain, but it could be fucking worth it. Because I hollow you, Brit maybe just straight up kills you. Brit has 100%. And then Brick can give you another move somewhere as well. Like, you could hollow again on... The captain can blow up all the cover, right? N no. The captains don't really work that way. Captains are uh, Overwatch masters, but they also just have, like, higher damage. And they're just, like, a huge pain in general. I think it's just good to get rid of them, because they're one of the hardest things to kill here. Just because of their regen as well. And I want you to think of it in this way. Assume people are going to go down. What we want is to take out the highest health units immediately. So that... If we go down to, like, five people, they can, like, grit this out, like, trading one for one against aliens, rather than there's a 40 health, sorry, 25 health outsider with regen on the field that no one can kill. You know what I mean? So I think we, I think its priority now is the captain, and then all that really leaves is normal aliens, um, the outsider leader, sorry, the other outsider, the floater leader, and... There's going to be more pods. That's the other thing. There's going to be more pods coming in, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? Scream. That's what I'm going to do about it. Scream, scream. Let's do it. I'm going to do it. We need it done. Oh, and you hit two. Awesome. 
So awesome. Okay, take at least one shot here. Save that command, though. Not bad, but you really need to... Well, you're not going to be able to crit. It's only 12%. We're going to need that, um... That command to be spent before you do your last business here. Your last breath. You got a hit and run here, Robin. What's it going on to? I think body shield saved you there too. It's why the floater targeted the ally ship instead of you. Pretty cool, actually. Probably hit and run used on the drone there, I think. Fantasy says thirty-two percent to kill from Brit. By the way, yeah, I need to follow up. Worst case, PG can get sacked to do it, but I don't like that. But who's gonna do it? Like someone's gonna do it. I guess with the double tap, we bring Monsieur in to try and finish it after Brit takes their turn. But again, who does that leave actually getting commanded here, if anyone? AQ hasn't got the ammo to, like, overwatch it properly. Pistol hit run on drone, plus shoot outsider. You are living in a blessed world if you think a pistol will kill that drone. I'm not even sure what a laser rifle will do it. Before I kill the drone, I kind of want to see if the floater, uh, if the outsider dies. Knock him, can get a command reload to shoot again. Yeah. And I think finally, PG probably just shoots this fucker. She made to be able to overwatch, she could still kill the outsider. Yeah, that's right. So what we want to do first, I think, is Monsieur. Monsieur wants to go like this, and we need to finish this fucker off. Or try to. Though it'd be annoying if Brit then rolls. That's why you want to use the command first, because it'd be annoying if Brit then just fucking rolls the kill. So you probably want PG. He doesn't have cover to move anyway. To shoot this thing first and then get commanded and then shoot again. Now maybe up closer, you have much better chances to kill the floater. And considering you guys are already exposed to the side, it's not like the aliens know you have a respirator or not, PG. They don't know that. So if I just move you to here, sack PG to appease chat. <laughs> so it'll be here. Wouldn't really do enough anyway. I go like dish. Holy shit, nice! God damn, what the fuck? That was a really good shot, what the fuck? What the fuck? Damn! I'm like reeling from that, that was amazing. I think I'm still gonna come on PG. Now I'm gonna go for the finish off on the outsider, hopefully. I hope this works. But if not, I have the HE grenade to do like scrap damage. Not quite there. Predictably, we need that little bit of finish off. Let's see what we can do. There it is. Just like we planned it. Just like we planned it. Now 44 for you on the right. And, uh, and then I can also just run you back to cover, maybe. Because you might actually get targeted by them. I was going to use you for other things, but... So, so, okay, look. Let's kill the drone, hopefully. Yeah, good. Probably just going to reload. For next turn. Monsieur, I want to do a 44 over here. May as well. Nice shot! Beagle is toggling chat. I might just be. I may just be. I think PG may want to retreat here with the command. The shotgun overwatch is questionable, and even if it worked, they would just kill PG for it. So it's probably better to, like, fall PG back. So that if they want to push PG, they have to, like, come over. Which means then they can also just move here and shoot. The fact that they don't have to, have to even move right now to, to get PG makes it more likely that they just, like, shoot PG, I think. Whereas if I make, the, make it a move to get PG, they're more likely to, like, shoot the gunner, I think. You know what I mean? So I'll probably fall PG back to here. Put him behind the shiv. No, no, back to here. It's the safest spot I can get to, I think. Robin Bird. 
reload. And it's just dangerous because of that flanking pod activation on my side, but that was a pretty damn good turn, I think. Win or lose, that was uh, very, very effective. We took out a lot. I watched the scary. I was considering it, but PG was left flanked too much for that. Any world where pistol shot overwatch is playable? If you really believe in the pistol overwatch to make the floaters cower, but I don't here, and I'd much rather have the laser rifle shots for next turn. Mm. Brit was essential here. Imagine if we hadn't brought Brit, and we brought um the infantry instead. You need that damage. You just need that damage. Hello, hello. That's a good waste of your turn. I think. Shit's gonna do its job here. I mean, it's got three DR. Does it really need more? Uh, Regal is gonna get a little hurt. Ah, my collateral is wounded. Everyone is sad. They're not doing mind games yet, which is nice. Brit's will keeping everyone safe. Oh god. Nope, never mind. I tell a lie. Here it comes. 78% mind fray, but it's on 100. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time to fall back off that position if we can. We need to fall back now. Break the loss from the left side and force them in closer where PG's grenades can be useful. Oh yeah, because the sectoid, the sectoid again is starting. It's beginning. What's the outside? We're gonna do something annoying. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, I'd like to fall back, though I am being pinned by sectoid suppression. There isn't a lot of great position to fall back to, honestly. Like, you just don't really have the cover to the right right now. But, like, this is this is kind of fucked. Everything's kind of fucked. I need to get... I think AQL needs to start, like, drug smoking. I mean, you get, like, everyone in the drug smoke. Three, five, seven... Very lucky we didn't get Mind Freddy yet. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Not ideal. I think we need to try and get you off that position so we can all drug smoke together back here. It'll break loss from the low ground fuckers and the outsider a bit. And then we're just going to deal with the fuckers on the right and play loss games, I guess. We're also going to deal with you. So you're going to come back and probably get this one. Even if you get taken out, uh, even if you get hit by the suppression, it's more important I think you just get out of here now. You need to back off. We need to break loss. We need to get the smoke going. This is the last turn you'll have a chance to escape all this bullshit, I think. This is as far as Cabler Can can make it. So you're probably just gonna bring Cabler Can to here. And then, like, use the shiv to help cover. And then the rest of us are, like, pulling back to here, and it's gonna go, like... Where's it gonna go? It's gonna go... Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Three, three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Okay, so a smoke. A smoke placed here should catch all of this. We have to fight our way out of the right flank as a priority, I think. So AQL probably stays here in her own smoke. She probably can't overwatch this turn. But she can lock and load and smoke and be ready for next turn. Though if you're gonna break loss, it would be really good to have her overwatching, but you just need to smoke. If we don't smoke, we're fucked. You've got to steady your rocket for next turn. Fanny says, or normal shoot this turn and lock and load overwatch next turn. Yeah, true. Actually, really good point. Of course, you're right. Of course, you're right. I was just kind of worried, Bounty, that if the smoke bug is still there, I'm going to lose out on both. But yeah, I guess you're right. A, a standard shot here. Oh, on a shredded floater? Could be pivotal. Could be exactly what we need, actually. 
gonna be exactly what we need. I think I fixed the smoke bug, so we're gonna find out, I guess. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's perfect. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Three, save first. Three, five, seven, nine, nine. Let's see if this works today, AQL. Hope so. I think it was Bounty, but we're gonna find out right now. Yeah, we're good. She just lost her smoke perk, so now she's... Hey, what the fuck? There you go. Hold up, y'all! We got us a smoke bug! It has to be a patch smoke of those, but there's still some left, it seems. So that's really good that she can do that again now. That, that's really important. I'm gonna try to get you all back into that. If you have other options, you could shoot down the sectoids that are suppressing. You get this one at least. I mean, we can't really afford to take the hit, so maybe I, maybe I need you to get them instead. I can't get the one on the Rocketeer I really want, honestly. Step out of the smoke radius to throw it, I think. Yeah, maybe. You got body shield, but that won't help you against them. Taking, like, sectoid crits here might be, like, game losing. Rather than game winning. But I really want to kill you, man. Maybe you could do it, Shiv. Your aim isn't very good. Where is it gonna run you to? Does he have a smoke buff? No. You're gonna run to here, so I probably just do that first. Come what may of the, the suppression on you, because it's only one suppressing you. Hopefully you make it, but if you don't, we've got you covered with the Shiv and it's probably okay. That one, though, I think I might need to, to, to shoot. Because if the dot gets shot, it's not going to be hot. What can you do for me? Nothing that useful. You need to reload almost. I need, I need a kill. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cabler can run first. Go! 68! Dodge it! Oh fuck, I told you we couldn't take this shit. I was right. Then why'd you do it, Beagle? Because I had to. Sectoid damage scales up hugely for those who aren't aware. Gets pretty bad. Okay, now you gotta come to here and cover them even more so now. Yeah, they are alive. Are they alive? They're not alive. Hang on, what the fuck? Why are you exposed? Excuse me, what? Why does it say you're exposed? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ya doy. Okay. You're in a lot of danger, Cable Ken. I kind of don't want to run the Overwatch here for the same reason. So I think I am going to have to use AQL to... As much as I want to shoot that floater, I got to get this one. I got to stop this suppression. Because that could not be allowed to happen twice. It doesn't kill, unfortunately, as it would have killed the floater. But it does stop the suppression, and that's essential here. As we reposition... Hey, can you hit and run? No. What am I talking about? No, you can't. I can come here and start healing you, but then you're fucked from the other side. So that's not ideal. Though you'd probably get body shield from that floater, but it's not a guarantee. 
I believe in the AI's ability to figure figure out how to fuck your medic there. You can't afford the medic going down. No way, no how. Probably the shiv shoots here, because we still need to take out these floaters on the right now. Brit wants to get back to here and reload. You... Might be able to get to here if I'm lucky. I think it's time to move PG now. I'm just deciding which way I want to go. I think it depends if you kill this floater, so find that out first. They might not want to fuck the medic as much because the ship exists. Yeah, true. Regalus needs to move. Regalus actually... Oh my. You don't double tap, do you? No, you're fine. So you can reposition. So bring Brit back as well. Brit can go like here. Regalus can go like there. Or vice versa. Monsieur, I mean. Monsieur. Monsieur can see from there. Okay, so Monsieur comes to here. And either steadies or shoots. Brit goes to there. Reloads. Robin Bird either dashes away or comes to here. And PG either goes here or here, depending on if we can kill this floater. Oh, and Regalus, sorry. And Regalus takes this spot then. Yes. Okay, so let's get it going. So Monsieur to here. On my way. Now you want Brit to move back as well. Welcome. Regalus needs to reposition. Can Regalus see from there? Not so hot. Not so hot. Regalus could always reload, but I, I really would like to contribute to the fire. But if you put them there, they're just way too exposed to everything, including sectoids. So I think Regalus has to come to here. Moving to position. Okay. Monsieur. Has a shitty chance to hit. You have no good hit and runs. So you... Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think either way, you're safer here than you are to that raider hitting you from the other flank. So we're gonna come to here. Position confirmé. Hello, motherfucker! I know I could probably use the pistol, but I'm not taking any risks today. Now, as we hoped, you can take the tree spot. Fantabulous. You can't hit them, unfortunately. But at least you can break loss. That's good. And now, if the ship was in a slightly different tile, we could always break loss this turn, which may, may, which may have been impactful. We could have got it. I think I might need Monsieur to steady rather than take the 44 at the floater there. Because I need a rocket to fuck up the sectoids that are about to charge me on Moss. Especially a Mayhem rocket. More useful. Brit's got to reload. No, no question about that. Okay, so steady. Reload. Reload or Overwatch from you? I think you gotta reload as well. Let's do this. I wanna double check everyone has smoke because that bug's got me spooked. Because if anyone doesn't here, it's a very bad time. PG doesn't, but I'm sure PG will be fine, everyone. Especially because you're gonna Overwatch, which might just keep the floaters back if we're lucky. But I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah, the sector line is forming as Bounty says, and we have no more retreat ground, so... Oh, nice shitty move, though. Oh, not so shitty, actually. That's frightening. That's a level 4 floater leader in drug smoke. Yeah, drugs do help resist the toys. That's a plus. Yeah, PG's gonna deal with that. That's right. That's damn right. Someone might go down here, maybe two, but I, I think we can get through this with like two casualties. Hopefully. Unless another pod walks in and it's just hell. Or unless the sector is just like succeed in like just conga fucking me. Incredibly good dodge. Very important to dodge in this smoke right now. Nice DR. 
I like she's actually doing its job there pretty good. Oh, another one, AQL, please! Ah! She can't take another hit like that. I'm being flanked! Just like last time on Trash Hill, we had to, like this permanent flanking force on our flank that we can't really deal with. Last time it was mech, though. Yeah, cluster, you little bitches. I might rocket the floaters instead, we'll see. Let's see what I got. Otherwise, it'll be. Oh, no. Three, three, thanks. Three, 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 three sectoid. Three, three, three. This should be good. Kaboom, Skipper. Hmm. I put it like right there, I think. Rock it! Got one. Just the one, but you got one. One success, nice damage as well. Any chance the second rocket could just follow up? There's a lot of sectoids in that area. I think there's even some on the UFO. It's pretty likely, even unscattered, this does something useful. Like there's one there. You probably get someone with this rocket. And even if it's kind of inaccurate, it probably like maybe finishes a couple off. Like, this is a bad rocket, but this one, I think, is good this turn. Let's take this. It's actually not bad. It's 2.6. That's pretty good. Not bad, Cabler can. Good accuracy. Right on the money here. Fire! Suck on this. Then the mech toy shows up. Nice rocket. I think that was a 3B. At minimum two, we can see, but it might have been a 3B. This is how we take down the sectoid line as it forms. Have those rockets un not not like dampened or anything and ready to go. Not sure if we got that third sectoid, but they're hurting. Yeah, AQ is probably gonna move, Bounty. We'll see. Though oh, I was gonna say I could move you here, but no, because Rocketeer needs ya. Maybe. I mean, there's no one there right now, but there's an outsider down there. Wait, did I kill them? No, that was the captain. Mortar sentry stratagem? <laughs> yeah. Okay, PG. Return to monkey over here. Yup. Oh, Flutter actually can't see CSS because of smoke, maybe? Maybe. Reckless kill floater, take window back to corner. Yeah, we need more smoke for that, but yeah. She's the one with the smoke is the issue. It would be good to get Robin, like, healing. What's Brit got? Brit's got terrible shots. Good shots, good shots, good shots. Get those flanking floaters is important, especially because of the drug smoke helping us. We're really whittling down the sector numbers. Out of interest, you couldn't do that, could you? Not really. Okay, shotgun, hut! We're still gonna kill this fucker. The raider is a priority. Raider needs to fucking die. Haven't really got anything for it, which is really scary. Actually, really, really scary here. I'll even hollow kill it. Yeah, you're right. You're right, use Regalis here for that, you're right. I want to back Robin off. The CCS on it didn't proc because of the smoke, but will it happen this time just to fuck with me? I don't know. Can't really afford a, a bad play there. But that means like AQL has to keep holding this flank, which means she's going to go down, which I can't afford. But can't we kill them? Maybe? Brick can kill one. Brick can't kill enough though. Regardless, first. Yeah, regardless needs to go first because we need to kill it. Regardless of anything else. <laughs> get it? I think regardless has to take this spot though. Seriously. 
Yeah, the radio's gonna fuck someone up. We gotta get him. So you got to move to here. Aye, aye, Commander. It's only a 56, but that's why we need hollow. Please hit. Please, I'm begging you, hit. Ah, that's fair enough. Adjusting aim. It's a pretty hard shot. That's fair, fair enough. However, what the fuck are we going to do about you? What in the absolute fuck are we going to do about you? We don't have enough shotguns to kill you. What about laser pistol? Anyone. No heals. You don't get a heal right now, uh, Cable Can. You just gotta tough it out, which is scary because you got sectoids on you. You could just get mind frayed in a second. Shid, 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 shid. I mean, we gotta shoot with Robin. No good hit and run the take anyways. You gotta shoot with Robin. Or Robin runs over here, heals AQL so she can but they'll just shoot her, they won't even move. That's the problem. Yeah, AQL has no cover to move to. Yeah, also a problem. Like, AQL has nowhere to go except, like, here. Though that's not a bad spot for her to go for next turn, but then the raider has to be dead for that. Fucky. Fucky, ducky, fucky. Fucky, ducky, fuck. Fuck. Dick. Fuck. Fuck. Maybe to shoot her a Brit. Maybe. I think Robin's gonna go. Good shot! Now show me Brit's pistol again. 81, I think Brit's just gotta finish it. That's the best case here. Or AQL, but AQL has no cover to go to. If AQL had cover, I'd probably do that with her instead. She could go to here, but then she's mega, mega exposed. Could she do it from there? I guess AQL could do it from there. Worst because she has a respirator. She's my queen, but she has a respirator. She could come to here. She has the aim to make this. It's the most useful thing she'll do all turn because it gets her away from this flank, which we hate as well. Might be the best thing I can do, unless there's like an outsider watching her right now. That's the thing. She's going to run in a way that might get her overwatched. One, two, three, four. No, because you can see. You'd see if they were there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Maybe not, actually. Ah, that kinda that kinda ruins it. Yeah, you can't really take that risk, because likely you've got an outsider overwatching here, and then you're done. Yeah, yeah, it's no good. She could just come to here. It does break loss from these two. They'll just remove them and shoot her next anyway. But she can, like, almost guaranteed get this floater. Like, wow, her aim is amazing. The other floaters have to move up, so maybe they'll pick someone else. Move the high health guy to the spot next to AQL and give her his spot. No, because... Brit needs to do two shots is the whole point of this. You're gonna move outside of cover, move near your revive. Yeah. What's the distance here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It shouldn't step her out towards them, so they, it might make them then target the ship instead if they move up. We can kill the flag before moving AQL, maybe? No, 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 no. No, 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 here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come to here. Aye, aye. That removes them from the equation. 100% laser pistol. Fucking nice. Fucking nice. Gotta get rid of these damn flankers. Though also, maybe just kill both the sectoids. That floor is happy to just stay there and shoot the shiv. Maybe get the sectoids because they're gonna mine for the rocketeer. We have better shots on them too, so it makes even more sense.
Maybe the sectoids first. They're probably gonna do because if they mine free us as well, like everyone gets fucked up. I want to get that floater, but this is this is more important, I think. Uno, do your job, Brit. Fuck him up. Huh. Could you have done that on the other one, please? Isn't she the best, folks? Isn't she just the best? That text comes great as champion right there. The actual answer to sectoids, lots of double firing mayhem strike rifle women with incredible aim. Uh, you gotta reload and let's hope no one goes down this turn, but I say AQL is in grave danger. He's going to shoot around? No, because the ship's covering the rockets here. That the smoke should still be there. If not, I'm in fucking trouble. As we hoped, the floater's doing something Don't dumb because down. they can't see her anymore. Floaters are kind of dumb like that. Yep, shoot the shiv. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, rocketeer in danger. Good, good. The drugs are still keeping us alive. Excellent! 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 Excellent, bro! So we're going to reload on you. We would like to get you the fuck out of there. Cabler can. Back to here, I think. Three. Five, seven. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five. Three. Three, five, seven, nine, nine, nine. One, two, three, four. If I put a smoke right, I think I can make a fallback position again. That continues to pull back from these fuckers. Though you might argue if only two on the flank, now is a good time for her to start overwatching again instead. Not sure. Cable is actually in a position where they can't be shot by the sectoids, so this isn't as bad as it looks. She is a dead eye, yeah, she is a dead eye. The loss is so interesting here. Even about smoke, we like this kind of work somehow. AQ I'm watching because we need to re-smoke we say. Oh yeah, true, true. That's why I was gonna run her, I forgot. Okay, now we need to steady this rocket too for next bullshit. Three, five, seven. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five. So you two would stay there or use a double tap now. Ooh, maybe. I think Brit's got that, though. Brit's got that covered. We need to break loss of the people who aren't... who are visible right now, I think. It, it, probably running is the right choice, I think. Though it's kind of annoying they're gonna take more damage from the sectoid on the run, but fuck it. That is, if we can still have the flank that we don't need to run, yeah. I mean, that's true. You could just run Brit back over. Shoot... one of the other floaters. And get the overwatch going as well to protect us from the flank. Might be the smarter way to do it. No, we need to smoke though. We need to smoke. Oh, she, she's suppressed, right? Yeah. So you have to shoot that one anyway if you want to run anyway. Maybe, yeah, maybe bring Brit over and shoot one of the other ones. Maybe double tap with you. I need to get hollow going then. But, like, retake our old positions, basically. Ain't there a third floater out of loss out there? There is, yes. Correct. We're gonna deal with them, too. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. You have to give up these positions, but we'll retake these ones so it kind of works out. Smoke first for crit? Yeah, you're dead on. You're dead on right. Okay, so Brit's gonna come to here and shoot one of them. AQL's gonna smoke and pistol overwatch to scare them. Shiv can do a suppression or a shot. Cabler may still wanna run, I don't know, probably just overwatch actually with covering fire opportunists. Everybody fights, no one quits. I might heal you with Robin. If I can get away with it, so we're gonna take that. No, can't take that spot. Monsieur maybe double taps after Regalus shoots. 
Okay. Keep in the video, I watch the scare and a girl can reload, also true, yeah. Or ship suppresses the draw fire. I'm gonna rip first because I wanna see if there's anything crazy out here. So Brit, come on over. Position confirmed. Oh yeah, hello fucker. The only thing against this is if, there, is if there's another pot out there, this could be bad. Not punished, good. So you need to shoot that one. If it fails, it's gonna be awkward, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. Hopefully you hit, you know? Hopefully you just hit. Now we need to smoke. Three, five, seven, nine, nine, three. Okay, three, five, seven, nine, 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 seven, five, three. Three, five, seven, nine, nine. Okay, smoke right on yourself. Those combi drugs coming in clutch on the queen today. Very, very useful. And better than Den Smoke against Sectoid Spam. So I'm having a newfound respect for combat drugs for this campaign, for sure. It's definitely time to, like, finally finish off this fucking flank issue. Please don't miss. Not today. Ah! I'm all out. Pain! Grave pain. You could send the shiv over to, like, flush it. Mm. Probably just let Brit, like, tank in combat drugs, though. She can take one hit, I think, and the others shouldn't get us. If we can kill the others. Let's see if we can kill the others. Okay, so it's gonna go regardless. It's gonna hollow that one. And then we're gonna try to double tap him. Okay, uh, fuck. Sure. Um, Monsieur can come over and help as well, which could be nice now. All things considered. Anyone else got like a better of a go of that? Um, Robin potentially. I kind of wanted to heal with Robin. But I can't heal with Robin. You have 78 aim. You have 74. Robin's the better candidate for the shot there. And then you can steady the Rocketeer too. You have 84. You have 84. But that exposes you to a sector in a way I'm not comfortable with. And then you don't get to Overwatch either. Better to Overwatch with you. To each soldier, their specific use here. And it's Robin's turn to get on the line here, I think. Huh? That's it, Robin, that's it! That's the way a closer does it. Yeah! PG also needs to move to cover. Is that good? Uh, don't know. It's flanked, so you don't want to go there. So now for the rest of us, you are going to... I kind of agree with the idea of overwatching. You're gonna do a Pistola Overwatch. Because you'll lock a load next turn anyway. You're gonna... You're gonna, I think, Overwatch 2. Oh, Raiders, sorry. Zero Luck, thanks for the Raid of 5. Welcome, thank you so very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for calling it out. I didn't see it. Let's get this rocket ready. Up. You can come in too. Come 
SP Rocket can try to break Lost from Sector because you know Overwatch catch enemies. Well, they, they have got Lost broken. That's the nice thing about this spot. The Sector just can't see him, which is terrific. Why are people saying, wow, did, did, I, did I black out and say something weird again? What happened? Um... Wow, no, stop it, stop saying it! Alright. I was thinking about Shotgun and Overwatch, but I'd rather reload, I think. I think we had enough Overwatch. And the Flutter isn't a drone. Even if the shotgun is convinced them to stay away, they just like move to my flank on, on range. No, stop cancelling me, please. I I'm the commander of Wokemobile, how can I get cancelled? Wokehound's gonna have words if you have to the mission, they're gonna have woke with me. Nice! Got away with that. Very nicely. Yeah, reload turn, exactly. I can rockets. Who can see me now? Oh shit! So you gotta move now. You're free, but you won't be visible anymore. Maybe, maybe you'll be visible. I might be able to get a free kill. No, I can't anyway because um. No, I'm for collapse. So, just shoot. Look at that Dorito just goofing off. Oh yeah, there's an outsider in there. I don't know where the fuck they are. Hello? Is that rock grenade? Oh, PG still has all the grenades. True, good point. A good point and well made. It might be rocketable. There might be another pot out there though. This kind of seems like a, a bit much for a rocket. Yeah, let's see if we can get the grenade going. Good call, good call. PG has so much useful shit this mission. Those early smokes are really good. That's the outside of there, I think. Hello, fucko! Oh, well, well, fucking well. Look who gets a hit and run, too. First standard shot of each turn, yep. Well, 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 fucking well. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Shut the hell up! Oh, I should have shot with you first. You had fucking hollow too. I'm so stupid. I could have like double tapped the pistols. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Does not fucking matter. Cocked up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I can kill both of them this turn, I think, too. And Lock and load, Overwatch. Flash him, Rico. Ah! Fucker. Well, I guess the sectoid gets away this time. We are forcing him off the line though, which is nice. We can kill this fucker. If we could kill this fucker. If we could kill that fucker. We could enjoy a nice slice of reload turn. 74, I might just take it, I don't know. Can monster target do anything? Yeah, if I move you, I can. Okay, move Robin Bird. Two. I think I want to get you two off the line. So, Robin Bird, come back over here. Yes, Keep looking, move. I'm on it, Commander. Two here. Скоро оклемаешься. Is that good? Now, Monsieur can come back. Roger that. Gotta use your cover to the fullest, folks, you know? There it is. That's what we were looking for. Now you get a strike rifle reload. Good fucking turn. Good job. We're holding. I'm glad I didn't fight this 
fight spread to the right. I'm glad I pulled back when I did to the Rocketeer. Because being able to smoke everyone at once has been pivotal. And the same thing would have happened if just all those floaters would have flanked on top of the Rocketeer and they would have been dead. I've learned from bad missions, I think, to an extent. Outside is going to jump me. Oh, it's just a little sectoid. Die! Die! Cheer for death! Cheer! 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 Blood! Sha! 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 Yeah, AQL still works because people love to buy sectoids. As long as sectoids are in season, AQL has a job. There's more of them coming. This position is way more holdable than the other one, I think. Though I think I'm just playing it better too, to be honest. 58% mind fray. Nice. Combat drug still in play there, even though you can't see them. Very useful. Oh, hello, bitchy. AQL, what's up? Whoa! Fire. I think combat the drugs are still in play there. Speaking of which, probably gonna do another drug. Get some hollow on that outsider so we can kill the fuck out of him. That's what daddy needs. Apparently this is a, a shot. Okay, we'll go here, we'll get it. Aye, aye, Commander. Wokan's been pretty damn useful this turn, uh, this, this, this mission too, honestly. Gotta say. Just the ability to provide cover like that while providing some fire support and a bit of tanking has been good. The fact that they didn't target Wokan down has been really important. It's been a nice, nice blend for me this time around. Fuck you! Oh shit, I forgot to smoke again. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Sorry guys, I'm really dumb and fucking dumb. I'm dumb and dumb and dumb. I'm dumb! Three, five, seven. Three, five, seven, nine, nine. Sorry guys, I stupided. I'm not used to, to smoke drugs. I always fuck that up. So sue me, you know? So sue me. Well, shit. Once your target has double tap. It's like the best I got here. I might just 67 you, I think. Destroyed. Because no, no, uh... Oh, I should have fucking lock and loaded. I forgot I have lock and load. Dumb, dumb B. I'm a dumb B. I'm a dumb hoe. Do we reckon Brittle live the mind fray? Maybe, but it might be smarter to just shoot. Probably just shoot. You only have one shot anyway, so. Absolutely just shoot. Enemies down. Got no ammo. Good stuff. Maybe never heal back here. Or maybe just hide and we'll just leave that for um, when Brit's ready. When Brit's ready to give us a uh, savior the if the mission plus. continues. Get a reload in. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. You're holding fucking strong, squad. Keep it up. Oh god. Didn't Iku have lock and load? Yeah, but that's different because um, she smoked, so she can lock and load and shoot. Oh shit. Keep looking! Save the shiv! Yeah! The fucking covering fire! Saving shiv damage! Cable and can, let's go! Cable caver can! What a fucking legend! You love to see covering fire actually do something because it's not common. You love to see that. Okay, where can I move you up to here? Yeah, here, come here. Should you still be in smoke yet? Yeah, easily. On my way. Get fucked. Oh my god. Bye bye. Ship moves up. I was just so cinematic. It absolutely is. It's so good. This squad wants to live. This squad very much wants to live. We made it. They are definitely trying to live. Ready. 
Ready to rock. Good job back there. You have locker lines, you can do both. Back in. Got it covered. Slight mistake. It should be fine. Reload. Rock and roll. On overwatch. The covered fire is cute, but they're the only one not in smoke. I should actually be more careful of them. Well, now it's not an issue. This actually is probably a good time for AQL to throw a scan out. And get some heals as well. It's time to back off. Heal everyone up. For right now, I'll heal you up with the first one, I think. There you go. Well, we want to back you off, don't we? Let's back everyone off. Let's go. Dude. Yeah, so you're right, Batty. It's not so much that it's a mistake. It's more like a... A decision, you know? It's a move. Bring you back to here. You come back to here. We'll get you healed. That's affirmative. You come back to Heading here. Heading out. Some savior. That's better. That's this, feeling better. This is going to hurt. Took some hard hits from the floaters on the right, but you lived them as you needed, as you needed to. Walker ready. I think it's another pod we're dealing with now, most likely. I'm on it. Got it covered. Once we're all loaded up and shit, I'll um, switch cover off of AQL and get some scanners out. Rock and roll. Trojan says predicting floater AI is still the most important skill in XCOM it turns out. Absolutely, yeah. They have like a uniquely stupid AI that's really good to be like intimately familiar with. I'm rolling. Let's get a hero here as well. I guess you could get a normal one, yeah, actually. You're right. Give her a normal from Robin. No, you're right, yeah. Robin should give her a normal one. You, however. Okay, I see what we have to do. You're right, that's a better use of the limited medkits. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving. So way to heal shoots mid-mission next come. Through repair, but it kinda sucks. It's only like three. Wrap something dead on it. I wanna buff it. I wanna way to buff repair. So you can repair more. Sentinel drone? Oh no, you're right. Sentinel Drone gives them auto repair, doesn't it? So that's useful too. But I still want a way to buff Octor, I feel. Uh, so for its repair job. Let the repair perk, like, give them extra, extra health, like Savior does for medkits, I reckon. Or give us a foundry. Is there a foundry for that? I don't think there is. I can't remember if there is. Alright, we're pretty topped up now. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom. I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom right now. Sorry, but foot back up for the mission. I gotta pee. Be right back.
Okay, onwards. Let's get a sound reading again of what's out there. And then we'll scan in that direction, because I, I reckon it's another pod now. Just wait until we get the sound again, yeah? Yeah. Phillips, I think I figured out a way to do Kitchen or Sigma without too much hassle. Because any of the demon dealers are interested. Yes, please, that sounds kind of fun. At first I was like, it wouldn't work because the value, but yeah, like if you just get like a whole load of shit, like if you just get like 20, <laughs> 20 nurglings, it could actually be pretty fun. I'm, I'm down to try it, sounds fun. Definitely let me know what you're thinking and maybe maybe it could work. I feel, Commander. I don't watch. Okay. She still has three scans. Let's use them tactically. The pause don't make any sound. Supposedly in here. Throw one, let's see. If it's not in the UFO, we'll start advancing off this intel. Eyes open. Moving to contact. Okay, so we're not seeing anything there. Time to start moving to contact. Actually, who can even do that? <laughs> um shit. <laughs> Kind of awkward, but there isn't really a lot of good cover to move through. Uh, Robin Bird. Robin Bird can do it. Should we work on? Yeah, I just want to make sure I want to clear my left first. Just want to make sure there's no like no one hiding underneath the lip here, just waiting for XCOM to get complacent. And then AQL dies because no one's got her side covered. It's probably you to here. Yeah. Because I want to, I do want to work off the scanner. So there you go. Now we can work off of it. Probably just gonna take like one move like this with Brett. Solid copy. Okay, Lacan, back in the fight. You will get alloy shift up, I think. Pathfinder says we're a Sigma kitchen, but you can only buy stuff compliant with tabletop rules, so you have to respect deep striking rules. <laughs> I'm all over it. There's no, like, training roulette, though, to, like, maybe help offset things. Like, in this, I do complain about the training roulette perk sometimes, but also we get some pretty amazing soldiers as well. Uh, now that I fixed it, too, I fixed the convigs. Um, I, I said this before, but just to say it again, because I've, I've confirmed it's the way it works. Before my config, I had just, like, made everything already in the tree, just, like, find and replace for everyone. But the effect it has is in the config of this shit, uh, of this mod, is every time there's another line of that perk, it's that, that, that time's more likely to show up. So the perks that were showing up on every soldier's tree were more likely to show up than the perks that only show up on one tree. So because only scouts could get concealment, you only had one chance to get concealment, but because, like, for example, let's say five soldiers could get damn good ground or whatever, damn good ground was five times more likely to show up. I fixed that, and now every perk only has a one-to-one -to, -one to show up. You won't see that on any soldiers except for new ones, as we discussed. It has to be a brand new soldier who hasn't picked their class yet. But I did a test campaign quickly just to see what a roster would look at, like with uh, like all, all master sergeants with that fix. And it's... I still can see one a lot more. Like, it's way more powerful now that I fixed it. New soldiers and new campaigns rosters are gonna have way more likely chances to get way better shit and way less, like, filler crap, like damn good ground and stuff. It, it makes them way better. And that's why we never saw Fire Rocket either, because it only showed up on, like, engineers in that sense as a pickable perk. Whereas I fixed it and I did the test campaign. It was like, oh yeah, I see, like, three people with Fire Rocket already and, like, 15 people or something. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, the point was, though, with Versigma, Sigma, there's no, like, analog to that. Like, there's no, like... <laughs> I guess I take, like, the Emperor Protects, like, easy mode thing that gives you, like, free, like, space brains and shit. I don't know. What do you mean, Campaign 6? After we victoriously beat this one, of course, and want to do another one for fun. Anyway, you've moved up, you've moved up. You're staying there. Maybe you should come to here. Headed there now. It's advanced time. Some kind of random loot pinata from Wins, maybe? 
Get like stormtroopers or more shit, yeah. That'd be so fun, you get like a Rogue Sigma gacha box after every mission. Depending on how high your score is, you get a loot box. <laughs> oh, I got a fucking stormtrooper in this one, yeah! Oh, I got a penitent. <laughs> more felonids! Oh, an Ogryn! Godfrey says you can actually do that? Explain. Explain how easy that would be to do. I'm gonna design Gacha Roy Sigma. Could you do that easily? Because I know Godfrey, you, you fiddle a bit. Could you actually do that easily than I think because of, um... Because of how the game already has a system in place for like rewards like that after missions? It's hard to do it every mission, but you can do it every month. Every month would still be cool too, yeah. If you could make it really random, like a real fucking gacha. But like with tears. Should chat to you too, Garfor. You can tell me how that works. Maybe I can figure out if it's technically feasible. Very easy to tie a monthly score. Phyllis just can't think of an easy way to do it, but it sounds doable. Maybe, okay, look. That's so fun, you've got my mind working on my sigma again. But let's think about this, this mission right now. You want gacha mortar rounds? Is it crack, frag, smoke, or nuke? That's Helldivers. Just play Helldivers. <laughs> and do the Sea Artillery objective. Easy. By the numbers. That's right, quit distracting me! But thank you for distracting me, because I'm excited to do that in Red Sigma now. That actually sounds kind of fun. Because you remember, Philip, I was always saying to you, too, like, Oh yeah, we gotta get it set up so that, like... The aliens, the the enemies can like teleport in more reinforcements. Well, we've got we've got the strategy. We figured I'm it out. The they give you loot boxes you can crack at the workshop. <laughs> on my way. No more, no more. It's too fun to think about. No more. It's way too fun to think about. On my way. Back to the mission. That's affirmative. Time for another scanner in a second. Okay, show me the When you go to see a guy, I feel commander. Look at that scanning. Imagine being a raffle as a space marine that comes out of a box. <laughs> it's fucking free space marine at the bottom of every cereal box. On my way. Advancing. What is this last enemy or pod, do you reckon? I wonder. What's out there? Heading there now. It's not making a sound, so I'm gonna assume it's just like a, a seeker pod or something. Orders confirmed. Some, Moving out. Something unscary. On my way. Wasn't there a flutter going away on health? Didn't we kill them? That's affirmative. We, uh, we shredded them, I think. I've got my eyes on. Roger, I've got my yeah, eyes on. Yeah, sure. Looking at you cool. Shut up! <laughs> it's coming, Zaskar. I reckon 2024 is going to be the year of Resigment Kitchen. Golfers made me think about it now, and Philip has. I blew up all the cover. What's What psychopath blew up all the cover? Dimethos says we. we uh, Dimethos says we ever really get meld in this. Not really. But the best way we've managed to get meld so far is by doing large landeds, actually. Roger that. So kinda, kinda not really. I'm on the prize. Got it covered. Roger. I've got my arm. Yeah, yeah, and you kill mechtoids too, yeah, that's another way. I think I heard something. Okay, come watch this corner. Let's get everybody else moving up. Those drop meld, yeah, because they're gene modded. They've been modified. Rolling. 
Egan says, we'll never get OVA Kitchen, because if he loses Longwood Kitchen, it needs to reset the start. But if he beats the campaign, then it's come to it, be cannon. <laughs> OVA Kitchen has its own reasons to be hell. I think OVA Kitchen would actually be harder to make fun than Rose Sigma Kitchen, because OVA and XCOM 2 is such an unstable mess. Got it. Moving. It would take a lot of work. Rose Sigma would be pretty plug and play, I think. Like, it's already so fun. Let's move. OVA would have to do a lot of work on, I think. Even just to play again. But... Oh, oh, XCOM 2 has the most potential also, because, like I keep saying, you subscribe to every alien mod on the workshop, don't make them spawn naturally and just let people buy them. It's just one of those fucked up restaurants Gordon Ramsay hates that has, like, a menu that has, like, a hundred pages, and you can, like, combo everything, like, five ways from Sunday. <laughs> yes, I'd like to order a Reaper from Mass Effect. Okay, first of all, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> XCOM 2 also has the most mods you can like give to the soldiers and XCOM to like balance it the other way too. Like you got the airstrikes and artillery mod on. So if someone orders like 30 sectoids, you just like bomb them with the 380mm. Tie in the fire support mod to Helldivers. You have to type in like up, upright, <laughs> down, down, down to drop a 500 kilo airstrike. 30 orc boys, you got exactly, yeah, orc boys. Yeah, training roulette is wild, because you could, you could have, like, fucking infinite perks next come to training roulette. It'd be actually bad, because you'd just be like, I'll never get the one perk I want. Everyone would just be unique. You'd put on, like, RPGO, and it'd just be insane. Yeah, but I, I, as Stoops points out, OVA XM2 would also be the, the hardest to balance when it requires so much work, because by default, it would be so unfun. Yeah, like, imagine just spawning five codexes. Exactly. Because a lot of the aliens in XCOM 2 have had a lot of work, I just, like, kill you. I just kill you, I win. So, yeah, it'd, it'd be tough. Okay. He had to do a lot of balancing. Be making my own fucking game, basically. Making my own... Well, mod. And OVA kinda was that already. But, if it was done, it'd be pretty fun. I can't, I can't tell a lie, it'd be pretty fun. Running. Oh, that's where you were gonna go, silly Rocketeer. Heading there now. Campaign still going strong, sure is. At least as of this second. I want to check another scanner behind the UFO. If not, they might be in here. So we put one here, one here. Probably do this one first. Or maybe even just stack this room up and then breach it. If they're not in here, they're probably back here. <laughs> yeah, Bounty. The aliens training for love as well. There's a codec for just have suppression. And then an advent trooper uses rift. <laughs> okay. Moving in. He hasn't been contact the whole time I've been watching tonight, says Egan. Oh, did you get here in like the last 20 minutes? You got here in the quiet part. Already Unlucky. There. Don't worry, there's been plenty before. Time to motor. Yeah, as, as you can see. You must have got here right as it ended. Which is kind of funny. Don't worry. We're just mopping up now, basically. Well, I hope we're just mopping up. Maybe that's being too cocky. New dual duration from the video Gameraptor Bogle. He would like to order a Reaper from Mass Effect, a Reaper from XCOM for Defense, a Reaper from Titanfall, two Reaper from Overwatch and the Literal Grim Reaper from Real Life. <laughs> yep. No worries. It's great that apart from the Grim Reaper from real life, I could literally, yeah, all, all those are mods in XCOM 2, I think. Maybe not the Reaper from Titanfall 2, but Reaper from Overwatch sure is, I think. 
Oh, yeah, if you got StarCraft 2 Reaper, yeah. Jug ruined. How could you? How could you? I'm rolling. You go here. 10 4. Is that just a floater? Yeah, I guess. Sank shall sank. Thank for sank. I just stuck her a few mods for XCOM 2. There's uh, probably Nova mods because everyone loves her. Carry you do likely. a donation from who do you rather? Thera avatars. Which who do you rather fight? Three Ethereals or three Gatekeepers or three Avatars? Avatars, I think. I don't think Avatars get riffed by default, do they? Or if they do, I think it's toned down. I feel like Avatars are the easiest. The real question is Gatekeepers or Ethereals. Gatekeepers do rift, but they also zombify you from it. But it's not as bad a rift as Ethereals. But they're harder to kill because they're discs. Can Avatars also rift? I don't fucking know, man. Maybe. Nasser. I think Ethereals are probably the scariest. Rolling out. Gatekeepers are a very, very, very close second. And I think it would I think the scariest enemy is whichever one of those you're fighting at the time. The you can mind control the gatekeepers. You could. You you theoretically could do that, yes. Moving out. Yeah, I think XCOM 2 Rift isn't as bad, I believe. Shh. Castle Life has okay, three gatekeepers, three ethereals, and three chosen. Ugh. The three chosen together, probably, because if you play it right, they'll just kidnap three people and leave, whereas the other two will wipe you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I've actually killed, I think, two gatekeepers at once. I could probably do three. It depends, because XCOM 2 you have better shit. It's just like OVA. If it's vanilla XCOM 2, like anything from XCOM 2, because you can just grenade spam it to death. If it's OVA, uh, do I have an A10 strike? Do I have a javelin rocket? Questions. Okay, PG, come here. Affirmative. Come steady. Thank you, welcome study two. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. Let's get ready to get the fuck in there. Got it. Steady. Overwatch. Steady. Overwatch. Steady. Steady. Overwatch. Is there actually any situation in which the Chosen appear together? Yeah, when you buy them. When, when I put them on the menu. That looks like the primary Woo! power source for the life power craft. source. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power. It would True, they're on the final mission if you don't kill them all. Ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. That's true. They might. If I didn't know better, I'd say the command pod is still there, but we know the command pod came out, so this is something different. Yeah, it's the first time we're in a UFO to get a power source. You're, you're actually right, that's so sad. Okay. <laughs> we have never had this opportunity before. I can't believe how right you are. In fucking September. <laughs> I'm on it, Commander. <sighs> we have fun here, don't we, folks? Rolling out. Moving out. Maybe one of the kitchen drops like that. True! Maybe I like got a sectoid stuck in a rock or something. Imagine the shame if I did that. Oh, they're on the roof, never mind. Listen. Ah! Oh, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't! Holy shit! <laughs> Operational objectives completed. <laughs> what a fucking insane lost enemy, what the fuck? 
There was just one drone sitting on the roof. <laughs> Wait till I breach and then... Holy shit, we made it out of that pretty good. Cable can out for 47 days, not great. AQ out for 30, not as bad as it could be. She's out for a month, but that goes quicker in dynamic. Regardless, 26 days also hurts. But considering the way that mission could have gone, uh, these are all very, very allowable. Wokan's only out for 13, so if you don't get them all the way down, they're actually pretty quick. So as long as you don't get Wokan scrapped or go below half health, it's not as bad. What guy's doing good? Yeah, that was good, Wokehound. Ooh, now you know what we said about damping and Rocketeers. Don't pass it up again unless you want to cry. Uh, Ranger... And it, it, it's sad, because Ranger and Double Tap is such a nice combo, obviously. Um, and more damage to your Rockets, which stacks on Mayhem. Also Sapper. But, I think we learned our lesson. Didn't we learn our lesson last time? What happens? A Rocket with Ranger does plus one damage, but a Rocketeer who's panicked does no damage. I think we learned our lesson last time. So, yeah, Rage also has a plus three aim, I know. A Rocket that is panicked does nothing, so we do need that damping, I think. Yeah, you will's pretty good or two, yeah, so stacking on it is even better. But the Navigator bug was a real problem. You just saw against those sectors, even with Drug Smoke, they had 58s to mine for us, so that would be... 78 against the average soldier and those soldiers all had 68 will thanks to the officer so it doesn't matter like sectors have still scaled really well yeah that's nice to get on the rockets here there oh let it rain let it rain it sucks that it's against lock and load but oh let's save your rain we love it yes very good. Always need more savior. Oh! 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 It's all back! It's all back! Everything I lost from the base defense is back! Except for the interceptors in the meld. Everything I lost is back! We're rich! We're rich! We're so back! Four computers, two power sources, we are so back! We are so fucking back. You do a donation from Philosophical Engineer Shen. It's all over, or is it? What? All that's left is my crying unger yawning into the infinite void. What? Ever tumbling through the grand uncaring cosmos we call life, aboard spaceship Earth. He never asked to be on this ride. My parents signed me up without asking. Me too. Me too. Shen, what are you talking about? We're rich. We're rich, Shen! We're rich! Illyrium, alloys, fragments, meld. Thank you, Shen, for your $2. Yes. Save the game. Back up the save. Good things are happening to me for a change. Good things are happening. This is it, folks. I've got a good feeling about this campaign again. This is it. XCOM, enemy unknown. What were the natural pods on that even? It was... A Berserker pod? It was the Conga Line Bimification Pipeline, Muton Dissected Pipeline. And it was a Berserker pod. And it was a Seeker pod, which are always free. They're always fun. What else was there even on that mission? Just three pods in the Outsiders? That big ass outsider. Yeah, the big ass outsider I didn't like. I didn't like that. I thought that was really not good. Brain genius. No, you ordered that. Corden says, it's amazing how, quote, easy missions are that don't have discs or mectoids on them. <laughs> Boom. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, I have no money, but I can sell stuff. The base defense never happened. We're fine. Okay, I got a lot of things to buy now. So that allows us to buy 
What did I want to get but hadn't yet? I'm already getting the GMG. I can get another alloy shiv. Med kits, yes. Improve med kits, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sell a power source. And a flight computer. Improved med kits. Finally! Let's fucking get it! Improved med kits in September! Yes! Can I get countermeasures as well? Yes. For a hellish amount of stuff, but yes. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you. I can get advanced gals going. Finished. Probably something to swap to. Um It was really just that. It was really just Can't get armored fighters yet. I think scope upgrade if I can afford it would be really nice too. No, we can't get interceptor repair yet, stoops, that's not yet. Can't afford wingtip. Penetrator would be very, very, very good, but I've sold all my cyber disc wrecks. Crazy. How is like, I'll never run out of disc wrecks, and then I run out of disc wrecks. Pretty much as soon as I get a disc wreck, I need to get penetrators done. Giving all the interceptors more armor pen is important, because I'm going to be running on like, stingrays for a very long time. At this rate. The countermeasures is probably next to the Illyrium. It's Illyrium heavy. Get that. Coil, yeah. And then we could also get coil, but we can't get it yet because of mail. That's very expensive. The big loss we didn't get back is meld. Fanny says, Cyber is a bit too expensive. Price adjustment needed because that's going to scale good enough to deal with them. You reckon? You reckon that people think Disc is a bad investment now? I feel like they've just been excited by Berserkers, but maybe. We haven't... No one's bought Disc in a while, it's true. Maybe people just feel bad for me. I, th I think Discs are good where they are for now, but... We'll see. Disc is just unironically less dangerous than Sectoids. Mmm... <laughs> This is not Bait Beagle, you should listen. Mm, I want to leave just where they are for now, I think. Janus says, of course they feel bad for you, but we're not talking about the boldness right now. Oh, thanks. Master Chef says, I think people are surging on the sectors after they're showing in the base defense. Yes, but I think we've proven that we will not live under the yoke of sector tyranny any further. I think that mission was definitive. Read my lips. We do not care about sectoids. What's worse, 15 sectors are one disc? Well, it, it's based on context, isn't it? Okay, I need to get menu for countermeasures. Money for countermeasures. Um, money for countermeasures. Scope upgrade, if I can. Yeah, dis are a force multiplier. I agree, yes. They're a good force multiplier. But if you make them too cheap, then you get six of them, and then you've got problems as well. Okay, so you're really just trying to save for scope upgrade. Rail pistols would be a nice luxury, but it's a luxury. Scope upgrade and UFO countermeasures. Okay, what am I selling? Uh, hey, sector commander corpses. I can't even research these yet. That's 104 fucking dollars, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple more sectoids, because they're still in season. Hmm, better to keep for scientists, actually. But maybe a couple of floaters? Gotta keep the Thin Man corpses, I think. Mutons, if I ever want ammo con, I gotta keep them. Berserkers, yeah, I guess that one. Though, if you want to build combat sims, which I do, maybe not. Combat sims will be a good item. <laughs> oh, so quickly, Beagle, you sell the Illyrium again. So quickly. I don't know what's going on down there. Check with maintenance. No, we actually need Illyrium now. I need to stop selling it. 
My crits are another power source. Uh, let me just check on companion. I think I need those pretty soon for shit, because I think alien power systems is coming up for power armor research. UFO power source is used in... What the fuck? Coil guns takes two of them. God damn. Hmm, is that it though? No, research alien power system six, alien propulsion six. Okay, I think you gotta stop selling them. You're gonna need that pretty soon. What did the mail get spent on? They stole it from us. It didn't get spent on nothing. Seekers are pretty good money. Just a really good thing to get corpses of, honestly. Yeah, we lost the base defense is what we got spent on, quote marks. Oh, just a little bit more money, 262. UFO countermeasures. Good. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Alright, we got some good foundry shit coming. Some good shit is on the way. Now we carry on, I guess. Oh, give them stingrays, yo. They're probably gonna be another fighter, like, back-to-back -back right after that raider, right? Nah. Nah, there wouldn't be. I don't think there would be. Do you want one avalanche? Hell no. I need stingrays over here. Oh dear. The signature is a little bigger this time. NOE. Oh, it's bombing. So if it's NOE bombing, I don't really need to waste my air game trying to take it down. Like, Satellite uplink mm, panic's pretty bad though. I can't, capacity. I can't have it go up worse. Plus, required. it gives me a mission, and I could use the alloys and resources. Air game's full here. I'm always kind of worried to go down enough reinforcements. So I'm always kind of worried about like trashing my air game for something that isn't taking down satellites. But, Satellite I think the immunization of that is just always have some backup stats like I do now. Required. I think this is what the the shitters are for. Hey, Van Pelt, you're not a raffle, are you? Okay, if we use you, we gotta... Okay, yeah, maybe yeah. Contact detected. Alright, music. Let's go... You first. Hey, Yuku, thanks again for the raid. Let's see what we can do out here today. Eyes on the bandit. Hearing strike range. You need not here. Yep. Your joy here. That's not bad. Go again. Another one. Approaching target. Oh there. Disengaging. It ain't even smoking. Alright, it's time for Vanguard Monster, get in there. Engaging bogey. Stingrays, let's go! Okay, another one. Point us right, let's go. Don't you back out? No, not with lasers, you don't. And not with this many interceptions, I can't afford to. Come on, let's go. Come on, pony. Come on, pony. Fuck. Ah. 
Alright, let's find out if you can do it, Van Pelt. Come on. Come on! Enemy is padlocked. Come on! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god, it really is just like trash your entire air game to take down one destroyer. I think probably one of the biggest lessons there actually is that laser cannons aren't even worth engaging the destroyer with. I feel like they did very little. I feel like you actually just have to like send wave after wave of stingrays at this point for me and then just keep the laser cannons for like scouts and raiders and anything without as much armor. Would you have sent the avalanche if that one failed? Of course I would have, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna transfer some around. Like you, Van Pelt. I gotta find out who Van Pelt is. Exclamation mark raffle. If you wanna be Beaker Van Pelt, let's find out. Meanwhile, I gotta send some of you around, so let's go. Vanguard, let's fuck you off for a sec. You know, maybe just go on the mission and just order another one. Afterwards, with the scrap, perhaps. Need more interceptors. Whenever you, whenever interceptors get wounded, just get another one in there. Need to have six green on the board at all times. We'll see. Go on the mission first. Remember to transfer after if needed. If that's our first destroyer, the research bonus will have a lot when we try to take down another one. I don't think it's our first one. I don't think so. It might be. Have we done a destroyer before? I can't remember. Raffle, let's find out who um, Van Pelt is. Bum, 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 bum. The winner is... Lunar Lance Hug. You're in. We don't already have a Lunar Lance Hug pilot, do we? No, we don't. Alright. Kipperk, ship name. Or is it ship name? We'll find out. Kipperk, ship name. Lunar Lance Hug. Welcome, Lieutenant Lunar Lance Hug. Good job. As for the rest of us, mission time. Gotta check. What are we dealing with for this one? Destroyer crash is... Whew, it's only 15, folks. That's nice, isn't it? Damn, it's only 15. We're actually getting pretty close to the alien research where they get double plasma on the destroyers already. Hate that. <laughs> Hate that. And this map is... That is Forest of Souls, I believe. Yes, it is. I thought I sent you a DM of a quick concept on how Resigma Kitchen could work. I'm gonna go sleep now. Thank you, I will definitely check it afterwards. Thank you. Who's ready for this one? Captain Fucked is. Anybody else? I don't want to keep exhausting. But again, like with the last one, might be necessary because we would have wiped about Brit last time, I think. You can't lowball a mission like this. You can't lowball any mission at this point. It might finally be time to bring Niara, I think. In the zone, Scout isn't the worst thing ever. Oh, another Mayhem Scout also, based. Based and goaded. Bring him on, yeah. That's right, I remember you now. Bring him on Mayhem Scout. No light him up yet, but that is just already nice on its own. That's damage. That is damage, yeah. That is big damage. I think you're going to do a couple more exhausts again. Unfortunately. Like maybe Robin Bird. Didn't you get something really cool? You got Savior, yeah. Probably gonna exhaust Robin Bird. 
it's kind of good that like a lot of our corporals here are about to hit sergeant and hopefully when they do we'll get like a whole bunch of new cool stuff because it's been a bit tough to bring some of the corporals on some of these missions right now I do need another Mayhem Strike Rifle, so that scout's probably coming. Even though they don't have light him up, just the one tap will be enough. So yeah, they're they're definitely coming. Get them in here. Where are they? It's Muhammad. Even as a corporal, I think you're you're gonna be pivotal here. B E O. Yep. And Mayhem. Uh, this is no. We we take this away. That's silly. That's silly. I think I already fixed that, but hasn't updated yet. Give perks stat HP one. Give perks stat one one. All right. So you're ready to fucking go. We're gonna get a raffle in for this person. Make sure you get your raffles in. Not having light up makes them a bit less relevant though, or a bit less reliable. Also, the low uh, aim is gonna make them a bit less reliable. So it'd be nice to have a second person who can also pull that off. Not you, you're not that right. You're not the one. Probably like a heat infantry, I think. Does Nior actually have mayhem, remind me? No, I would have taken her if she had mayhem. No, she's just got tanking. Iron skin D smoke, all pretty nice though. You're probably gonna take heart and really lean into what she's about. I think she just got that, yeah? That's it too. I think she must have just got that. No, no, she's had that for ages, but tech sergeants don't get free XP anymore. That's right. I forgot. Tech sergeants don't keep XP acc acclimating. Uh, yeah, we've had that choice before. Hey, Beeks, why not enable that mini mod that shows the perks on the selection screen? I will. I just have to update my mods for it. I haven't done it yet, but I am planning to do that, yes. Gonna have to exhaust some Rocketeers, I think. Monsieur Target did just get damping, which makes him a pretty reliable one to bring. So maybe Monsieur. But... Heat ammo warheads light him up. Very fucking good soldier as well. Having one of the Rocketeers have heat is also just a really good idea. So maybe you two. Maybe you two, I think. I'd like to get away with that other exhaust, but I don't think I'll be able to get away with it. I just don't have enough soldiers. I have a critically low number of gunners. It might be time to start, like, just picking all the perks for these soldiers, these Lance Corporals, and seeing... Maybe they get something really cool, or they have like really good starting stats, and we can like maybe afford to bring one. Specifically gunners. Um, I have plenty of infantry that you can always afford to roll better infantry. Also, remember what I said about the new soldiers are going to roll better perks than the existing ones? So these ones might all get, get something like way better. Caper Fooms, what a cute name. Oh, revive! Look at you! You're a handy assault to bring, especially if you can run and gun heal. I don't think you can, but if you could, it'd be amazing. Rapid fire is nice on an assault, obviously, but I think it competes with Sentinel in a way that makes New Revive a fine choice to take instead. Man. Oh, thank you, in Italian Napoli, man. Where love is king. When okay. boy meets girl, Eres, what do they say? Okay. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza, pie, that's amore. <laughs> okay. When the world seems to shine like, you've had too much wine, that's amore. Bell. <laughs> thank you. Bell, thank you very much, appreciate it. Very nice, thank you so much. Bell. Ba 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 bum bum. Need smoke. Need smoke as well. Ooh, extra fire rocket, also good. We were talking about this before, remember? Extra rocket is always good. Plus, she's also bringing the grenades that we need anyway. I think you're the engineer for this operation. Racket! Racket! 
Split up four has the rockets for the engineers. Now you can't bring shredders or anything just off of that, but we want to bring grenades anyway, so it's fine. Maybe even smokes, like with PG. Those basic smokes are pretty useful. Tim Ability, Lamau. Yeah, she's, she's not the fastest. She's not the quickest thing on two legs. Dense Smoke Sniper. Always handy. How long until those are here? It's five hours for another scope, five hours for a holo targeter for the shiv, ten hours for mag pistols. Four hours for shiv suppression. Probably just go, unless we really need another scope, just go now so you don't get more shit stacking up on you. Ugh, my orders are out of order now. I need another medic, and I need a gunner, and I need more damage. I need all those things. Place Larry says, am I still injured? Uh, maybe. Maybe I think. Paramedic field medics, good combo. Bring them on as well, makes you instantly useful. So does close combat specialist, makes you instantly useful. This makes you pretty good against Zerkers and shit. While this just makes you good in general. Big damage is needed, buffs up your, your rifle damage in a way that's really needed. But you don't have any way to, like, actually prompt the crits to happen, that's the problem. So you're not reliable yet. You're, you need a bit more time for your build to cook, I think. Let's have a look through the corporals again, look for someone juicy. Light him up, sniper. I think that only works with strike rifle. But it's still good. Pressure shot gives crit chance, yeah, but it doesn't work in, on rifles. You still need more time to cook as well, warlock. A little bit of a look through the soldiers here, folks. In the zone, double tap. With high aim, pretty good soldier to bring. Double duties and some grenades, which doesn't really come more together, but, you know, in the zone, double tap. Good fucking combo anyway. Yep, that's right, Emerald. Just a Rapider. I haven't got the damage right now, I'm afraid. Pure Overwatch is not enough right now. You need to have, like, something to go with it. I've changed it, but I've got to do it myself. I'm giving Absorption plus 2 HP, but, like, minus 2 mobility, I think. I gotta check the notepad if I take it. So it's a very good tanky choice if you want to take it. Combat Drug is also really good for her. She can be, like, a little mini AQL. We've seen how useful it is to bring the drugs. Though without Smoke and Mirrors, you only get... One by default. Attack sense may be better, I don't know. Probably the combat drugs, but anyway, not on this mission. We've looked at you two. Hit and run, always, always good. You might even go sentinel rather than rapid, I think. Sentinel hit and run. Guarantee those two shots. But again, you don't really have the damage. We need the damage, we need the damage, and we need the damage. We need big damage. Surely someone else here has mayhem or something, right? You got rapid. You got rapid heat, but it doesn't work with shotguns, but you could do it with a rifle. Goes against smoke nastily there. I wish I could get that. I have enough heat already if I want to bring that over infantry. What's Cox thing again? I feel like I've asked this five times. Yeah, nothing really right now. Let him cook. Hank White. Who could go low profile, even if we wanted it. Hyperreactive Sentinel is a pretty nice combo. Just gives flat aim, too. Again, let him cook. Just not a great combo of starter perks yet. Close combat medic with second heart, nothing wrong with that. Berserkers are an issue. Okay, so let's start looking through the others now. So I want gunners most of all, so take me to the, the you fuckers. 
I think I have enough Rocketeers just gonna make everyone into a gunner now. I just don't have enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Two good things there, but it's probably gotta be heat. But I do love all of these choices. But yeah, I think you gotta got, kinda gotta go heat. Heat is just too strong. Fucking low profile plus suppression would be an amazing combo though. Kelso? You're exhausting Rocketeers though? I know, but oh you're not, you're the wrong class. But I have like four gunners so I made that one, you know? Like it's just I need more gunners. Completely lacking them. Hey! Someone who can actually use Shredder. That's huge. Being able to apply Shredder without Shredder rockets is actually massive. Worth taking you on this mission for that, I think. That's really good. Uh, even against Will to Survive, that's the pick there, I think. Completely. That's so strong. Pray they roll Mayhem? Oh, I will. I think you're on this one. Reasonable aim rolling too. 74 at Lance Cripple isn't bad. Probably bringing you, yeah? Now let's check the other potential gunners. Just in case. <laughs> Bombard. None of these are really good, so you, you take repair servos. Ranger is like, yeah, but like the, the fact you don't have a pistol makes it half as useful. And Bombard, like, just not what you're bringing. Let him cook, see what else they get. Archuleta, what's what's your deal? Um, uh, I'd also like to see you cook. Packmaster could be good if you roll smoke or something. Castelli, what's the deal with you? Okay, I mean, you're never sad to see Dense Smoke. You're never, ever sad to see Dense Smoke. That is three Dense Smokes. And what a chin, folks. And what a chin. You could cheat at Minecraft with a chin like that. Man, her mobility is so good. You could have, like, a, a 19 mobility gunner if you were brave enough. But how could you pass up Dense Smoke? Too good. Is there any others to pick from? I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Um, Alright, we need another medic. I want to kind of equip these guys and then see what's left. Harmony needs to be given back her rockets. Like so. I haven't got enough armor now because Wokan's not here, which also sucks. Okay, auto rifle with shredder. Yep, good. Probably a good reason to bring a scope just for that. Monsieur, yep, looking cute and sexy, looking good. Muhammad with the strike rifle, looking good. And let's get that raffle done for Muhammad before I forget. They are better known as Max EC, you've made it. Max CC, you've made it. Mayhem Mac down. Good. Deco for that soldier. Deco for that soldier! You're not a scout so much as you're a shooter, so we're just gonna give you the infantry set up. Because you're really more of a shooter than anything. And with Mayhem, you fucking probably earned this one too. Booms. I do think I'm going to grab Revive when you and pass up Rapid Fire. I may come to regret that very quickly. But... I think your value here is not to be yet another Rapid Fire who isn't that good. I think your value here is to be a multi-role. To be a Sentinel, Shotgun, Run and Gun Assault with high health and Revive. Seems like a good combo. So get it in. Got revive on you, that's good. Oh, well, what are you gonna change your nickname to, Beagle? <laughs> Didn't we say what's a surgeon? 
How do you acronym a surgeon? No, we do, we do it the other way. Do, the doctors are the ones who revive is what I'm meant to be doing. Would Sentinels make sense to take a rival? Um, maybe. Especially because they're going to be doing a, a medic's job. It might make more sense, yeah. Someone else had to bring the shotgun, though. Who would bring the shotgun? I mean, you could do it, I guess. It's just that your mobility sucks for a shotgunner. There's still another slot to fill. Oh, you, 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 you. You 100%, you're the shotgunner. 10 billion percent. Yes, we are going to grab second heart. That is your purpose. To be the heartiest of scouts. You are someone I'll probably actually take reinforced on. I'm actually going to make you a tank. Let's raffle you as well, mystery. Hydro Cow, but Hydro Cow already has one. Hydro Cow, if you're here, you can pick someone to give the raffle to, or I'm going to draw it again and pass it on. So let me know in the next 30 seconds, Hydro Cow, if you're here and you want to pass it on to someone in specific. Give it to the VOD Watchers? Well, how do I do that? But they're not here, they're not even in the raffle. You have to go you have to go to the VODs and pick a specific VOD watcher. You have to pick a name. Go go to the VOD channel and pick one of the VOD commenters. <laughs> Slayer says, I watch the VODs. Just call them VOD watchers. Yeah, you can also just call them VOD watchers, but no, give it to give it to a name. G give me an, uh, give me an exact name. And we'll do it. Give it to Basil. <laughs> Don't hate this. I'd like it personally. <laughs> Give it the Snowdo again. <laughs> the third revival of Snowdo. <laughs> no, that's that's. She shall die again. You, you can't keep giving away. Hydrica says, "Give it the Snowdo." <laughs> Sorry, Basil. Sorry, Von Watchers. Snowdo is the most popular. She's winning the popularity contest. Everyone loves her and wants her to be in the campaign. Or just kind of like... <laughs> kind of like morbidly wants to watch her die again, I guess. She's been a dead scout sniper. She's been a dead blue shirt. Will she survive as a gunner with shredder ammo? As a lance corporal on a crash destroyer? She's died on her first mission every time. Is this one different? We really don't know. We simply do not know. She's gonna win. You reckon she's gonna win this time? I'm gonna leave her hat on. She can keep her hat. She's giving Duncan Idaho. <laughs> okay, so you give me that. Can somebody give me a Gauss rifle, please? Damn, Fionn, you haven't got any... Oh, you've got to light him up, though. Uh... And heat ammo, you have to keep it. Okay, so Fooms, you get a laser rifle instead. You do not get reinforced armor. Get that shit out of your fucking hands. Get that shit out of there. Probably with only pure revive, gonna double stack up on medkits, I reckon. You should be a backliner. Duh, I wanna be able really to get you up, so no, bring a respirator. Bring a respirator. Yeah, Nyara's gonna get the shotgun, that's right. Nyara's gonna get the shotgun. Alright, Dr. Caper, you're looking... Look like fucking something. Let's, let's, let's get you a helmet. You'll earn that face back. If only you could run a med. Yeah, I, I don't think you can, but I wish you could. Okay, that means Harmaketu. Too many rifle users in this squad, yeah? Too many rifle users. Harmaketu's gonna have a carbine. Offsets her shitty mobility a bit, so that's good. You just got fucking everything, Harmaketu. You have a crazy amount of ordnance. Let's give you... 
Let's give you that one. Danfion looking good. Nyaro, take the scatter laser. And uh, take the reinforced, I reckon, yeah. Minus 10 defense on Nyaro. But Nyaro has 16 health and 2 DR. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Only having the one dense smoke kind of sucks, but I think her roll of, like, that much DR plus the respirator is probably going to be pretty handy. Wait! Don't need the respirator! Easy! Do I bring another dense smoke or do I stack her even higher? I don't have alloy plates, so that's answer to that question. Yeah, only 15 health, but 2 DR and 2 dense smokes, that's nice. Nero, you are built to tank. All of my other tanks die horribly really quick, but you're different. I'm gonna- you're, you're so much of a tank, I'm gonna give you like orange armor so they all know to shoot you. There you go. They're all gonna know to shoot you, Nero. Okay, and finally... Um... Another medic, I think. Maybe that close quarters medic with a second shotgun. For if I get Berserk Ulons. Though, Cordance could bring smokes. Maybe Cordance instead. I have Shredder in general. Plenty of rockets as usual. I don't have a lot of big damage. No, line them up on maxi. So one less big damage there in the aim. Isn't that great? So maybe the CCS medic is really necessary for that reason, I think. Wait, do I have three rocketeers? No, it's fine. I do have line them up. You have infantry medic stuff? Um... Yeah... I want two revivers though. This is a mission where I can actually afford to bring two revivers. Gordon says, sign me up, I already converted the medic to save Snowdo from bleeding out that first mission together. <laughs> it might be you, Gordon's for smokes, but I'm actually thinking... That... The CCS medic is who I really need on this mission. I think I lack a certain something against Berserkers. Secondary Heart, too, is pretty sick, because then you can also bring other shit. Like, just more medkits. I think I lack any savior on this mission, right? No, I've got someone damn fine. it's okay. So I don't need it as bad. But CCS and close combat is just good in general. CCS and close combat. I'm sorry, I mean CCS close combat. Close combat specialist CCS. Why don't you say it twice? There's something wrong with me. Uh, it's good, is the point. You could also afford to bring the tracker for us. Tracker, phalanx. You have trouble being on the front line anyway. Okay, so it would be this instead of smoke. Might be good, I think, for if we get Berserker pushed. I think we lack a certain something against Berserkers otherwise. I think this is a good immunization. She's a bit light, though. She's only got 10. She's quite healthy, though. Secondary heart doing a lot of work there. Got lots of medkits. Motion tracker. Kind of a waste on you. Can I bring it on anyone else? Not really, that's the thing. There's enough medkits, I guess. I got two dense smokes. I only have two smokes, but they're dense. I don't have combat drugs for the sectoids, so be kind. And I have no leader, so actually one of you needs to be made a lieutenant as well. But other than that, I think we're good to go. Tell me one of you can be made a lieutenant. Okay, who do you want to be the lieutenant here? Out of that team. It's between Niaro. Okay, Ormond's your target. 
I have not enjoyed having Rocketeers as the commands. So probably neither of them. Conventional wisdom has been don't make the frontliners like assaults and scouts the officers because then if they get themselves forward into trouble it's a problem. But actually in practice, that has really not been the case. Um, that really, that's been the least needed command move and has been more needed for like more damage and stuff. The will on non target is really good though. Like that's 65 will for everybody. Which is better than Nyara's 59. What's your target? If you were the officer, how bad would that be? I mean, you have lock and load, so you need it less than most. You have damping, so you're unlikely to get panic, so the command should always be up. That is another reason to do it. They're unlikely to get panicked and fucked. Double tap doesn't work that great with commands. Anyway, I think oh, I think you get like one more shot out of it. But maybe you, Monsieur Target. Maybe you, I think. Your will is just that good, and lock and load means you don't need to be commanded really as much, and damping means you'll be keeping it up. Okay, so it's gonna be you. Monsieur Target. It's always Rocketeer officers, it seems. You're gonna be the leader. We need that will. We need every bit scrap of will we can get against sectoids. Damn, it also means no side, which officers, officers can't get anyway, right? I think. Correct. Question applies. Shred only with mayhem. Once you says, God, I'm ugly. No! You're not ugly! What? You're not ugly, Monsieur. What do you mean? You look great! Okay. So. Squad's pretty good. I don't think there's anyone else I'd give uh, Phalanx instead. Really gotta get those Gauss strike rifles. That reminds me. Switch from Berserker or Topsy to this, yeah? Yeah, let, let's get those fucking things. Let's get them. Got some Shred and some Suppression. Got some Medic. Got some big damage, even if only once. Got a bunch of rockets. Bunch of cruncher, bunch of rockets, and grenades. Double Rocketeer has been pretty core, I think. Been pretty essential. I mean, two rocket launchers for an eight-man infantry squad is pretty standard, right? That's pretty good. Can't make it a bit hard to bring anybody else, but that's why we multi-roll. Nyaro is here to be the rarely seen full tank. We'll see how that goes. And not Tyler with the motion tracker. Secondary heart as well. Just here to revive and CCS Berserkers. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Rydria says, should, should they just leave the cut open Berserker Strike on the slab one. for three Prepare weeks before coming back to it? I feel like maybe they autopsy the Berserker like in a day and then they study it, the results. I don't think they're like literally cutting the same Berserker open for seven days, but I don't know how surgery works, so who can say? You'll be heading hunt. into Japan for the next mission. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quickly as possible. Operation naming person said like, Oh yeah, heard our criticism about like, Oh, it's always like negative names that make it seem like we're gonna die. Oh yeah? Try this one on then. Blind pipe. Doesn't explain. Doesn't elaborate. Leaves. This is the second of the day, yeah. Alright. Let's go.